remember where we left off? We were in a rat cave. No, we weren't. Yeah, we were. We were in the cave. I got you. I got you. In where are my sewers, notes? Sewers. Sewers. We're in a we we're in a in cell a room. We cut we oh. cut loose people. We unlocked the yeah, cells. Okay. Yeah, the old couple, or yeah, the older couple, and then the young boy. And and when you say older couple, it's not an old couple. Right. It's just like they're older than a child. Yeah, <laughs> not, not children. Yeah. Um, not elderly. And uh, gold. That's all. Halt. I Halt had found a dagger, two hundred and fifty gold pieces, and uh, two potions in a chest. And he nobly told and, us about it. And Dazzle um, has a big ass oh. snake following her around because I just realized you never like turned it back into a staff. So your big ass snake. And I was looking at this the the properties of the staff, and there's no like duration on it. You can keep it as a snake for as long as you want, and then turn it into a staff whenever. Mm -hmm. um, which that's pretty cool. I would assume you'd want to turn it back into staff before you went up to the surface, because people would probably be freaked out by a giant ass snake. Probably. Also, yeah, I was uh, checking on the size of this thing, and yeah, it's like a Tanaboa. A Tanaboa. <laughs> you got a big ass snake. Yeah, because it's like the size. That's huge. That's what I was saying. Is it like Harry Potter big? Okay. So so, like, Bullet. think not quite as big as the Basilisk. It's not that big. That's what I was picturing. But think, okay, think of the biggest snake you've ever seen, like a real-life snake, like an anaconda, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, like, double that. Okay. And this costs her, like, a bonus action to use, or is she just, like, kind of... Um, I don't know. What's the staff say, Haley? So that's uh, dope. Yeah, I think it was my... It's either a bonus action or an action. We'll get to it to when it happens again. Yeah, so cool. just look at it real quick. Yeah, I'm going to look at it real quick. Yeah, it's an action to uh, turn it into a snake. Anyway. Did you get the staff when I was gone, or or was that the... It was when you were gone. Oh, okay. I was like, I, was like, I don't remember the staff. The staff is so cool, I thought I'd remember it. Yeah, so you guys um, fought a bunch of rats and rat people, or were rats, um, Holt found a chest, you guys freed uh, the little kid you guys were looking for, as well as a, um, a man and a woman who are in another cell who have clearly been bitten several times, um, and you are uh, pushing around a captured were rat. Um, and I think that's where we left off. Oh, and um, was it, who was it that found the journal? Was it Mary Jane? Uh, no, I have it. Dazzle found a journal, and as she tried to read the journal, the words jumped all across the page, and she couldn't make anything out, except at the front of the, or on the first, like, inside part. You know what I'm talking about? The, like, the inside part of the journal. What's that called? Yeah. <laughs> the inside front cover. Yeah, on, like, on the inside cover, it says, um, uh, this journal belongs to Henry Yevar. Who the fuck? Anyway, and that's where we left off. Can I... Or... I think, I think she should dazzle mention she was gonna pass it to... Uh, no, no. So there was something that people wanted me to investigate, but I don't know if it was the journal. Uh, I think I asked you to look at it, but you said you couldn't do anything with it. So I just oh, I think you rolled an Arcana chat, uh, Andrew, and you rolled poorly, and so I told you, yep, yeah, it's uh, got magic on yeah, it. Yeah, you're right. I rolled a one. <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember. I, I remember now. I rolled a one. Oh, you rolled a one, one and... Yeah, and you, you're, and I told you it's a journal, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, this is a journal. Yeah. Also, didn't I figure out that um, what the potion was that we found? Um, the potions that oh, Hulk found. Like yes, potions. they're healing yeah. potions. Potions okay, of well, healing. Um, and he had found two hundred fifty gold pieces, but I don't think you guys have split that up yet. I did. Yeah, I think he told you guys that he found. Oh, did you guys? Yeah, uh, we. Olson gave it to us. Yeah. Yeah. He okay, did. But did you all actually add that to your inventory and yeah, whatnot? I did. I added. Add what? Okay. Halt. Yeah. How do you how do you divide the money? 
I think we divided it by 41. Yeah, we divided it equally. I think we we put it somewhere. Oh, 41. Everyone oh. add 41 gold pieces. Oh, I didn't add this. Well, I don't think I did either. Remember if you spent a bunch of gold pieces recently. Yeah, everybody but Andrew did. I spent money. Because I did it in my rent. And my yeah, but you didn't... You didn't spend. You did spend a lot of money, but you didn't spend. Well, I guess never mind. I guess everyone spent a lot of money. I don't remember how much I had before. Hey, Chris. I, I do remember now. Um, you guys talking about splitting it up, forty-one gold pieces each. Okay. So I didn't oh, get to the damn time. I'm going up to more. I'm talking to more. Um. So Berzik's gonna. Berzik's gonna mention that or tell everyone. Uh, we pointed like the rat that's tied up and. Say we and say uh, we should take it back to the to the queen, the court wizard. Maybe they can figure out where we're at cure for these people that got bit. Uh, uh, yeah, you you don't have to do that. No, you could uh, you could just leave me down here. I thought Chris, this was you as the DM telling us that we don't need to bring him back. I, like, I, I kind of thought so too. I was like, what the fuck? Sorry. Um, I definitely don't think we should leave him down here to then kidnap more yeah. people. Uh, and Lexi, it was two healing cushions. Oh, All right, okay. bud, you're coming with us. Uh, 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 here, I'll just, change the voice a little bit so you know that I'm talking. <laughs> so, can I, I do a strength um, check to toss him over my shoulder and just kind of cart him around? Uh... You could probably just do. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll. I got a plus three. No, you, I'm pretty you could probably swole. just do that. You don't need to roll for that. Yeah, I was going to say, Berzik's pretty swole. Uh, well, oh, oh, you're picking me up. <laughs> He's just resting over my shoulder. But yeah. making sure his, his, his laying in a way that he could. But just like nibble at me or something. Uh, well, he has reverted back to his human form, if you guys remember. Uh, what? So, like, he doesn't still have kind of fangs in his human form? No. He has oh, a human okay. form, a, like, human-rat hybrid form, and then a straight-up rat form. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure I wasn't going to get bit. No. Well, he'd have to transform into his, like, rat form for... Or human. Like, his were-rat form. Cool. Okay. I'll have some alert if this guy's going to try and nibble on me. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just carrying this guy back for sure. That's what Berzik's doing. He's going to be quiet now. You guys just want to head straight back the way we came? Or, because wasn't there areas in this place we haven't gone? There was like a thing that dropped down like 60 feet, I remember. There was nothing that dropped down 60 feet. I don't, so yeah, was, I don't know what you're talking about. What? I thought there was a, there was like a really far down, uh, if there was like an option to go straight ahead, or there was like a thing that led down a pretty far away, I just decided not to go, not to split the party or something. Uh, oh yeah, no, I, I don't. Could split the party. I think that was a while oh, yeah, back. But it was just a corridor that went. I thought it, it was wasn't a, anything that dropped down. Oh, uh, maybe I'm remembering a, something wrong. I, I think know. so. I think you're misremembering. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very possible. Uh, I mean, there's a, this guy, uh, what, what, so the, in this room, small, there right? is the door, you, there's the entrance you came in through, and then there was another door that was to the, on the side of the room as well. Hmm, we should, you guys think we should check that door out before we leave? Just like nod it, yeah, there's yeah, six, there's six down to check it out, but I'm not going to be super useful in a fight, because I'll have to put this guy down first. Or you can um, beat a motherfucker with another motherfucker. Sure, I do. Have strength. Wait. What's, my, uh, what's my plus to attack with a were rat human? Um, I don't think you'd get a plus to attack or anything. This guy could do some damage. I'm not going to count a person as an improvised weapon. What? Well, that's just disappointing. Look at, you can't tell me that you couldn't produce. A weapon with this bad boy. I think for anything like that, you, I, it's going to be in the moment and um, depending on the situation. How about that? 
Yeah, so when I leave him, I'm not going to tell you right now that you can attack. Oh, yeah, roll a d8. Like, I'm not going to do that. You know what I okay. mean? Okay. Because it just oh. depends on what's going on. Congrats, <laughs> Andrew. There's a plus two weapon. Plus yeah, four, he's not a plus a anything rat. weapon. He's a rat. And actually, right now, he's a human. So. Um, while y'all are deciding that, I'd like to recall my python. <laughs> okay. And what was, do you remember the... Uh, I'm a the snake! <laughs> Uh, you see the snake um, he comes to you um, and kind of spirals in on himself a little bit and turns into your staff most do Okay, so you guys are going to check out this uh, this other way? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Basic wouldn't want to go first, though, since he's got the, 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 the load on his shoulder. Are the other yeah. people just, like, following us, Chris? The other people? Yeah, follow? for sure. They, um, they uh, are going to follow you guys, and oh, you yeah. have the little kid with you, and he's um, uh, actually holding on to... Oh. Who? Uh, Demaya's hand. You actually Did cut him loose. He, he just like he just like reaches up and and grabs your hand and says, "Are you gonna help me find my mommy?" <laughs> oh. Yes, we uh, are. Didn't Don't just worry. Say there was head. more of him in this place in the sewer somewhere. Um, I don't know that that question yeah, was Yeah, we asked, asked him how many there was, and he's and you gave us a number, and then we, somebody said, oh, we already killed two of them. He was like, what? <laughs> uh, what? Um, okay, so yeah, he tells, he had told you, uh, four, right? Yeah, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's another, there was, uh, four, four of us total. And we've killed three. Or, I'm sorry, he said there was, when captured yeah, one. yeah, so four total. then we need to probably be in like, if we're going with all these, or I guess this would be very difficult. We have these civilians, so combat could be difficult. I believe that we. I, I believe that we can win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God, it's like a, it's like a rescue mission, but it's like, well, we we haven't looted the full dungeon yet, so yeah, exactly. What if yeah. there's more? Uh, yeah, as you guys go down this uh, corridor, you guys take a sharp left, like ninety degree angle left, um, and, and then it opens back out, kind of into a more open area where you can see like a bridge in front of you that goes across because underneath is kind of that flowing sewer water. Um, and it's flowing to the right. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. So we're we just following the way we came in, the way out. This is not the way you came in. Yeah, no, this is the other door. This is the other door in the cavern, we were, or the, the jail area we were just Yeah, in. yeah. Uh, um, well, I'll be up front, and I'll just keep walking. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm happy to just follow along. Yeah, I'll just follow right behind Paul. I'm, I'm just holding a little kid's I'm hand. Don't worry about me. So, um, you can either go across the bridge or you can still stay on this side of the bridge and go to the right. Um, but to the left, um, the only way to continue going, because both of the pathways kind of on either side end, but you can see there's like a little kind of um, domed little area where you could go into the sewer water and continue to go down the tunnel um, to the left, but you would actually have to climb down into the to the water. Gag. Um, Pass. But to the right, you could just go on either side down. The yeah, let's stay on the right then. Yeah, I'll just stay on the right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And so do you guys cross, people, cross okay. the bridge, or do you stay on this side? You want to split the party? <laughs> stay on this, party. Just stay on this no. side? Let's send the civilians to the left side. <laughs> no, they, they would not. They're definitely just going to follow you. Uh, yeah, he's holding my hand. I can't abandon my adopted child. <laughs> not your child, for sure. Uh, you literally know. Yeah, no, it's mom is 
literally the one who guys asked you to come. His mom's the one who guys asked you to come down. Yeah. To but for time. now, to for now, he's mine. <laughs> to be fair, you guys never filled Verzik in on what nope. was going on. No, we didn't. Oh, Fuck yeah. him. <laughs> he just jumped right back? in. Why aren't we going back to where we came? There's more to be well, explored. What do you mean? Yes, but it's well, a the way way to get the boy back to his mom. We'll get there eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> There's more XP to be grinded, Haley. <laughs> side quest. We're gonna get close. You absolutely do not have to do that. Uh, uh, yeah. But anyway, you Verzik, guys Verzik. can go back if you want. Mine. Chris, Verzik says, with the wear wrap on his shoulder, another wear wrap to hunt. <laughs> uh, he starts to sweat. <laughs> like all over you. Gross, he's sweating all over you. Well, okay, yeah. but I do agree with Verzik. Like, if we leave one alive, there's a chance that he just makes more and more wear rats and this yeah. problem become, comes up again. And then I'll have to adopt more children. Is that Which, what you like? No, not that to happen. Um, so the, what the, the, the guy, like, the guy from the couple, he goes, I, I kind of want to get out of here. Well, walk your happy ass back then, bitch. Uh, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where the exit is. <laughs> they blindfolded us when they brought us down here. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. You might as well follow and be happy about it. Oh my god. I'm feeling a lot of hostility from you. And I don't know what I did. Weak. You're weak. <laughs> no, don't, don't mind her. It's, it's okay. <laughs> But you are going to have to follow us. <laughs> Good cop, bad cop, am I right? <laughs> Please keep all arms, legs, and uh, appendages inside the vehicle. And rat tails oh, inside yeah. the ride at all times. Yeah, let's like do a formation that's like... I'll be like front spearheading and then like we like circle around kind of the, the civilians. I can circle the wagon. Like a phalanx. Yeah. So what's that, the <laughs> Roman... Phalanx, yeah. phalanx, however you say it. One of those words. I've heard it both ways. Yeah. I've <laughs> never heard it said that loud. Fucking, let's go. I'm still walking. Yep. Okay, so you guys are walking um, on this side, and it turns back to the right, and you guys walk down this corridor, and, and now that water's to your left. Um, and then you turn again to the right, and uh, you guys actually find yourselves um, <laughs> back to where the cells are to your right. Bruh. I, you just made a circle. Alright. Okay. It's a trap! It's a tarp. Let's go. Wait, what if it's like the last thing? It's actually slightly different. <laughs> we gotta light the torches in the other order. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lazy uh, no. Dion for using the pub. The, pub, the solution was to throw the wheel so, in the wall. <laughs> So do we want to go back across the bridge or just go back to what came out? I don't want to get in that water. Yeah, I, I say we just go back the way we came in. All right, well, I'll lead the way back the way we came in. <laughs> let's, let's just peace out. I thought we yeah. uh, The civilians are going to get very restless very quick. Yeah, we need to get them back. Plus, like, we probably need to figure out if we can get them treated or not. Yeah, we don't yeah. want them treating the wear rats when we're down here. What are we going to do with this were-rat bitch? Are we just going to kill him, or are we going to take him up to see the light of day? Oh, we're going to bring him to the... Or, Verzik wanted to bring him uh, to the court wizards and stuff to see if they could, uh, you know, maybe... Get a a live test we're subject. Gonna, we're gonna pass, Brilliant. We're going to pass the chains, but we don't have to deal with it. Yeah. My alignment doesn't change if I don't murder this bitch, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a point, I will concede. Let's just take him to, the pr to a prison and... Make him answer or whatever for kidnapping people. Yeah, we'll, we'll make the queen decide. Now. You guys should be doing this in character. Live queen. test subjects. Oh, sorry. I've been talking in character. Yeah, I mean, Demaya is me. <laughs> Same. <laughs> queen comes Because, like, I'm a half human, half elf. I don't really have a you can always make like, a voice if you want, but well, Andrew for sure has a voice. I wasn't very creative. <laughs> Trial by combat. Whoa, whoa, no. Uh, guys, oh, guys, let's slow down a little bit. Alright, we're making our way out, Chris. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not all right, all right, all right. So you 
guys are going back the way you came. Yeah. I love the idea that these civilians are sitting in there as we're just like talking about whether we should just kill this man or not. <laughs> I mean, I would imagine they don't have much sympathy for him. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So you guys, uh, I'll say, um, somebody roll. Patrick, you're in the front. Roll a wisdom roll for me. Oh God! How good is your memory, Patrick? <laughs> so it's halt. All right. So it's it's there. Is he That's an elephant it. or is he a uh, mouse? Fifteen. Oh, That's not bad. Fifteen. Not bad. Uh, yeah. So you're able to ma to maneuver your way back to the entrance, and in fact. Um, so you guys go back through the room that had um, the merchant in it, and you merchant? find it com completely empty. Oh, the handsome man is gone. No, thank God. He would have asked me for a favor. Let's move on. <laughs> um, but it looks like nobody was even there. The torches are even are, are gone Wait, as well. Haley, I need to know, does Dazzle look sad? Does Dazzle look sad? Does she miss her one true love? No. Yes. She was actually disappointed that he wasn't there. <laughs> She's like visibly upset. She's very confused when you guys look surprised that there's not somebody in this room. He has still not been told what we were doing. I don't plan yeah. on telling him either. <laughs> I mean, I just kind of follow along anyways. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, you guys um, walk walk out of that entrance that you guys came in um, and you see the the woman uh, waiting for you and she goes, oh, my boy, my boy, and she runs to her child. He goes, mommy. And he turns um, the door and right. she says, no, no, she goes, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, oh, I'm never going to let go of you ever again. Good. Sorry, Adrian. So now I'm going to ask, do we want to go back down there? After nope, the not the particularly. Party. I smell like I shit, and so does everyone else. That. I thought we didn't want to leave anywhere, Rad. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah, so we, I'm we killed them all. We killed no, them all. One more. We identified the problem. She has probably some some guards or something. Let them deal with it. That's fair. I execute so this <laughs> where rat that. Oh my god. Carry this where rat all the building. Wait, do you actually? Is Hall actually gonna like slit his throat while he's yeah, exhorting? No, no, I was kidding. Actually, <laughs> stuff. I, I thought I was kidding afterwards. Verisic definitely would not go along with that. He'd As Verisic is holding him, I just straight up. No, I'm just kidding. No, Moash would straight up try to stop you. I was about to say, I was like, that sounds kidding. way more like what I would do. <laughs> so what's what's the point? Let's take him to the queen. So, yeah, we're going to take him to the Queen, and all of them, and see if we can get the court wizards to check Yeah, out. Chris, did the other people, like, sprint away, or did they chill with us? Um, or are they good with the Queen? Uh, uh, actually, so, uh, yeah, they pipe up and they say, uh, we, we'd really like to just go home. Well, well but, but you, you could be, <clears throat> sorry, uh, you could be infected. Uh, well, we haven't turned in, into a rat yet, so probably not, right? How long were y'all down there? Like a week. Oh, um, how long did you be in time? Uh, what? What's the incubation <laughs> period? Oh. <laughs> it's like the fourth one day. You need to be in quarantine. They got the Rona? Uh, so... You guys are going to force them to kind of go with you? I think. Well, no. I'm going to walk up to the couple and say, first of all, I don't think this has happened yet. My name is Moash. What are y'all's names? Oh, hi. My my name's... Um, <laughs> Fuck. Chris says shit. I didn't think of names. <laughs> and my name's uh, oh, God. Glenn. Let it be aware at that Voice. Glenn, Sarah, I, I understand that you'd really like to go home, but I, I just really think the best course of action for you and for everyone's safety is to get you guys checked out by someone that might know more than us. Okay, and you guys, um, so, like, lycanthropy isn't necessarily, like, um, a rare, dis like, it's certainly not common, but it's not unheard of. 
like you guys have heard of were rats and werewolves and and what but not um, uh, actually um, can somebody roll me a uh, medicine not a medicine a religion check Lexi I'm gonna look at mm, mine. there's only plus one yeah <laughs> I have a better a voice from the sky roars make a religion <laughs> yeah, so um, you know that uh, a, that it's brought on by a curse, and curses can only be healed by divinity. So it's going to have to be a cleric who mm, heals so we them. Should do, like the temple or something. If, if but, they are infected, but we would still probably find we right. have to find somebody that could tell us how long like these how long these people have to be clear and not be wear rats basically. Yeah, because we don't have that yeah. answer, so we still probably want them to come with us, right? Yeah. Either way, we, I don't, I don't want to leave them like unattended. Yeah, I don't feel comfortable releasing them to the general public yet. Okay. So, Chris, would we have seen or known of a temple or like a priestly order or something of that nature? I have a temple here. Within the yeah, you actually would know. So, Darmar is a large city, and unlike. Uh, Saradush, which Saradush is specifically um, anti, not anti-religion, but like purposefully secular, if that makes sense. Like, right. they don't allow, because a lot of cities will en tend to have like one or a few major gods or goddesses kind of be the dominating presence. Um, and, and, um, and and uh, Daromar, because it's the city's capital, um, it's they kind of have a lot more temples just because they have a more diverse, um, like worshippers. Yeah. So yeah, you could find temples throughout the uh, the city for to different to different deities. Um, so every city and town is going to be a little different when when it comes to things like that. But yeah, you guys would know that there's temples around. Then is there one for my? The goddess I worship. Now, the the thing about Eldath is um, being a a nature goddess um, and b a peaceful goddess. Um, she likes her worshippers to worship her out in nature or with nature, or so she tends to have her followers um, er er erect um, temples out like. Not in, in nature, city. like not in the city. So yes, there's going to be one to Eldath, but it's going to be on the out, like outside of the city, not in the city. Okay, wouldn't we want to? So I vote we could go to our temple because we might want to keep these people outside of the city anyway. Um, oh, but um, but uh, Lexi, or at, with Mary Jane being a cleric, she mm -hmm. would be welcome in other temples for the most part other temples as well because okay. they know because all the, because you worship a good aligned deity um they tend to you know show you a lot more hospitality okay cool then let's just i think you actually have a feature or what was your background uh, it's no, noble. my background is the noble uh yeah. never mind you, you don't have a feature but like they would see you as a cleric. Yeah. Okay. A, a fellow battle warrior. Then, yeah, I thought we just go to the closest temple. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, if she tells us that, uh, that that we need God powers to heal them, I'd be down to just get a temple with these folk. Okay. Um, are you taking the, the, the man on shoulders as well? <laughs> Bring him. I mean, maybe we can cure the fucker. <laughs> um... While we're, like, contemplating that, I do want to walk up to the mother of the boy and say, um, we're planning on heading to the nearest temple to um, get these people that were also abducted checked out and make sure that they are not cursed with lycanthropy or whatever the rat. It's all called lycanthropy or lycanthropy, however you want to say it. Oh, yeah. Did the boy bit at all? Did you see bites on the boy? Yeah, you, you did not see any bites on the boy. Yeah, I thought he was but we also didn't like investigate. Yeah. I mean, I'm not planning on. That I'm not planning to strip. Yeah, I'm not planning to strip a minor. So. 
We will strip mine, but we won't strip the minor, you know? All right. Goodbye. <laughs> that was that was bad. Uh, but I do want to tell the woman, like, I think it might be a good idea if you came along with us so we could get him checked out as well. Um, she's going to say, uh, I, I really appreciate that, but I'll take him to my temple, the one that I worship at. I mean, we could all go there. I mean, I'll take him in, in the... Uh, uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, she'll say, um, we we go to the, the temple of... Let's just roll a random dice and see who it is. And she's evil. No. Uh, soon. The goddess of love and beauty. Oh, gosh. Um... So yeah, uh, she takes you guys to a temple because it's it's uh, it's around noon now. You guys were in the sewers for a bit, um, navigating your way around and whatnot and fighting. So um, she takes you to this temple. In the temple, you see a bunch of very very. Uh, how do I put this? Um, People who are uh, very much into self-love and um, conceited. Hippies? No, more so like nudists. they love the way their bodies look and they're not afraid to show Nudists! Them. It's a yeah, nudist, nudist colony! No, they're not nude, but let's say you might see some side boob. Um, Oh, wait, you wait, might. Hey, 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 hey. As soon as we walk in, I'm like, Demaya's gonna like bump Moash and be like, hey, we should join this religion. <laughs> you've got like, you've got like women who are wearing dresses with like a deep V, <laughs> and you've got men who are just walking around shirtless. Um, they all kind of look like, like, think of like Apollo and Aphrodite. Like, yeah. Chisel I mean, men and like I uh I bump. like not thin but but like fit women. <laughs> I uh, bumped to my back and I'm like, man, we were at tavern. We were in the wrong place. <laughs> um, and so you actually see this um, beautiful red-headed elf um, walk up to you. She goes, "Welcome to the Temple of Soon. What is it that you seek, my child?" My children, I guess you should say. <laughs> My child. Um, and the the woman, um, she's going to say, um, oh, hey, Barb, uh, so here's the deal. There were were-rats in the sewers. My young young Tommy, uh, I don't think he was bit, but uh, those folks definitely were. And she points to the couple, and they're just kind of looking around like, What's going on here? Where, where did you guys take us? Surprise watching, yeah. sorry. There's no, like, no one's naked. Never apologize for an orgy. In fact, you guys are kind of in this large atrium, and you see a couple people who are just kind of, like, um, plucking at, like, harp strings, and you've got people in the center just kind of swaying back and forth, like they're, like, white girls at Coachella. <laughs> Nice. Uh, um, and uh, Barb's going to say, oh, I'll take you to High Cleric. Um, Got to think of a name. Barb, but they're all named Barb. Helen. No, uh, High, High Cleric Figaro. This is going to be Figaro. the name. Figaro. Yeah, he's a dude. Figaro. Um, he should be able to, 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 to cure the curse. Um, and so she kind of takes you off into this side um, room and then up a flight of stairs um, into kind of like a, like a little office inside. Um, you see like um, a desk and a man sitting behind the desk uh, burning some incense. Um, he seems to be like a little bit older, but he kind of looks like, um, he kind of looks like, uh, um, what's his name? Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger? No, from Grey's Anatomy. McSteamy? Uh, McDreamy? Mark? No, McSteamy. Mark Sloan. 
I don't watch that show. I have no the idea what I'm talking about. The, the plastic surgeon. Hair. He's, He's got, like, like, the gray hair. Yeah, the sexy gray hair. Oh, like the yeah. silver fox looking? Yeah. Yeah, but not silver fox. More like, think of him as in, like, his early 40s. But, like, oh. still, like, super cut. See, I'm just over here trying to trying to wonder why Lexi didn't say his sexy no, no hair, right, Gabe? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Have you seen Gabe's body, though? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my Whoa! <laughs> Have you seen Gabe's body? <laughs> <laughs> if only we could redirect it to his head. Oh, oh shit. He oh, no. does have a pretty hairy body. Really good bald. It's shaved, not bald. No, it's bald. <laughs> Gorilla looking ass. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, Figaro, he gets up and he goes, uh, or no, uh, Barb says, Figaro, we have, um, guests. And she's, like, kind of swaying while she says this. It's like, looks, uh, I guess very hippie-like. I guess, I guess Hippies. you're right. Um, and, um, she tells him about the, the, the were-rat curse. And he goes, come here and I will heal you, my children. Um, oh, I just fell over dead. <laughs> oh, that's dumb. Well, I just did. What is going on? Why are you dead? Because I offended him. Oh, stop being mean. Maybe if we all pitch him, we can get him to brew game. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Anyway, he's going to, um, He's gonna take the couple, and he's gonna um, he's gonna sit them down, and he's gonna take, I guess, the guy from you. Well, uh, is it? Yeah, I'll hand him the, the guy on my shoulder. Um, and he's he's gonna take his shirt off. Um, yeah, he take he full on takes his shirt off. Nice. He's got like a deep eight pack. What the fuck? Um, and he pulls a, a little, um, like, bowl out of the desk, and he starts anointing himself with, like, oil. And he he looks at you, he goes, for the ritual, of course. Yeah, yeah for sure. Of right. course. Um, and then he puts oil on each of their heads. Um, the, the human were-rat dude is, like, uh, he's, like, kind of, like, tweaking out a little bit. He's, like, not sure what to do because he kind of feels like he doesn't really have a choice. Is it? Yeah, I wonder, is this considered a good action for forcing this person to not be aware of it anymore? Yeah. Well, it is a curse, and it does... Um, the road like, to hell is paved with good intentions. Um, and uh, he starts chanting, too. Um... um and you see uh, this kind of glow come on to each of them as he chants in oh, front, front of them. Oh, stop. <laughs> um, and um, you actually, as he gets to the one who's a known were-rat, he actually starts to convulse a little bit um, and passes out. And he goes, oh, he'll be fine. It's just a little more intense for those who are already uh, turned. Sorry, Robin brought me a toy. Go away. Um, yeah, and so, so yeah, so he he cast um, this ritual spell on them, or this spell on them, and um, yeah. So he goes, "You guys uh, are healed by the light of soon." Thanks. Do you guys just watch? Like, do you guys interact at all, or? No, I'm just watching. Feels really weird when I just sit here and talk for. Um, anytime he makes eye contact with me, I want to get him. <laughs> he, he like acknowledges your wink, but doesn't say anything, and it kind of makes you like feel a little awkward and sheepish. <laughs> I'm just imagining Moash is imagining Demaya with the thought process of, "Oh, there's still one were rat out there. We're gonna get to do this again." <laughs> 
and he's not. Super I'm just excited. like I'm. Demise probably just like looking around, like watching all the ladies walk by with their side boob. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, Figaro's gonna say, um, Barb, please take them down and find find some beds for these folks. Uh, I'm sure they're very tired. Us um, too. No, not you. He's talking about the ones he cast the ritual on. Um, um, and so she t- walks out of the room and takes them. Um, and he goes, thank you for bringing them to to us. Uh, I would hate to see these afflicted walk the streets of our gorgeous city. Would you like to stay and dance with us for a while? Dance. All in the name of soon, of course. Pass. Oh, I'm in. I'm 100% in, yeah. (laughs) They're both sawed. Yeah, Berzik's going going back to his books. He doesn't... He was supposed to be studying. This shit's a distraction. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wait, yeah, you are. (laughs) Yeah, this shit is the opposite of productive for Berzik. All right, so Berzik, you just leave and go back to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Academy. I mean, if they don't, if these people, if this wasn't like a mission from, I guess, could somebody fill me in? Was this a mission from the Queen? Like, <laughs> say that in uh, your characters. Wait. What? Did the Queen send us, send you guys to the tunnel? That sounded like Andrew's lightning. <laughs> Sorry, gotta, gotta rough it up a little. He's gotta get some phlegm. This is from the Queen. <laughs> oh, better. Um. I actually don't remember. No, right? We just ran into... Um... Uh, no, you actually, as you were leaving um, the palace, the queen was uh, well, not with you. You the, the woman was actually begging one of the guards to let her in. Right. Oh, that's right. You tell Verzik that it's not from the queen, and Verzik just goes, Deuces, and, like, what leaves? Deuces. <laughs> Verzik, okay, back yeah. <laughs> Verzik, you just go back to, to the library. Well, yeah, I fucking... I wanted to study it this whole time, but I stumbled into this weird rats. <laughs> oh, you just wait outside. Yeah, I'm just waiting outside, like, the front door, or just, like, reading a book. I don't know. He's on a fantasy TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about Mary Jane and um, Dazzle? I'm in. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so they take you down. A Dazzle? Um, Dazzle, as you, um, actually, um, Demaya and Dazzle, you guys get a lot of strange looks, especially, um, Dazzle. Love it. Oh, um, wow, it's more you than me this time? Shocking. I love it. Yes. Well, as, as tieflings are rare, they're still, like, known, um, but for, and people have probably seen you know, tieflings before, but Dazzle, you're probably the only dragonborn these people have ever seen. I'd like to say that I'm just kind of walking with my head up. You're exotic. <laughs> Proud as shit. Yeah. We keeping that chin up. Hell yeah. Yeah. True, All right. true. Yes, Easter. So, uh, you guys kind of go back down to the atrium and Dance and sway with these guys. Hell yeah! I want to like give all, like Moash like, a fist. They're bump. not like <laughs> dancing together. They're all kind of like in their own, own space, just like kind of swaying to and fro. And you can tell that this is kind of the way that they um, kind of worship and you know pray and all that mess. They're just kind of dancing, beautiful is there goddess. A goddess at this, uh, is there what? This any devil's lettuce? Uh, no, you don't. There's incense, but no devil's lettuce. Um, can I? Can I? I want to dance like really good. <laughs> it's can you describe to me how you? Did? Yeah. So like, Full strength check. like if they're swaying, then I want to like sway in rhythm with them, like as I move around the room, and I'm just essentially like. Trying to flip past people and just be like real graceful about it. He's a loser as fuck. <laughs> I guess roll up. I guess roll a performance check for me. See how well you sway. How well do you sway? 
Oh, uh, you sweat wow. pretty dang good. Yeah, you kind of like like season two American Horror Story Misty Day, <laughs> like like ooh, twirling around, kind of swirling, kind of swirling around like uh. I got you. Yeah, perfect. Fleetwood Mac vibe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Stevie Nicks Fleetwood Mac vibe. I love it. Perfect. I'm not only like, like you when it's raining. Oh my god! You actually, you actually hear one of the one of the 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 um, worship of hers who's playing the harp kind of hums the tune to uh, to that song. <laughs> or no, no, they um, they actually start. Um, yeah, no, they actually start singing it a little bit. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so you guys do that for a bit. Um, I assume you get tired pretty quickly because you guys are already tired. Yeah. I'm well, fighting were rats. It's we like probably smell like PM. ass. <laughs> we must smell like ass. I like we haven't slept though, right? No. But you did have your patented were rat monster energy. Good, good. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys are finished dancing and swaying and whatnot, um, you guys probably head back to the palace. Um, I'm sure you're hungry, um, tired. You probably want to take a shower or, I guess, a bath. You want to bathe somehow. Yes. I want to dump um, a pot of water on my head. Isn't that how it worked back in the days? Fit in a bathtub. Yeah, so you guys head back to the palace, um, and then I guess uh, you guys kind of do your thing. You uh, you probably each bathe and probably take a nap. <laughs> yes, correct. And then, um, Derzik, you meet up, I guess, later that night. What, I mean, was this like the end of our, I guess I forget, Was did we have like a set amount of time that we were like supposed to be doing things while we prepared a new mission for us, basically. Um, you guys just didn't have a mission. Okay. Well, what I I, for, I, I guess I just I didn't know if I was like during that off period was I like, coming back to the house every night or was I kind of off doing my own thing. Um. Well, you could either decide to go to stay at the palace or I guess in the apartment that you kept. I mean, I guess I would probably be at the apartment because I think uh, my character would want. And quiet, unless like I was sent for. Um, we're waiting on the court wizards, right? That's like the. That's like the only thing that you can wait on. You know what I mean? Like you finish the one mission. Yeah. You're just waiting to see what they find out. Okay. Cool. And you haven't heard of any new, like black portals opening up. We're we're waiting for them to finish investigating that like magic. I guess maybe there's like would come back. Though, to see to try and like uh, to see if they've learned anything about that stone, because I'm super interested in that. Okay, yeah, so in fact, you are sent for. Um, courier comes to get you, and uh, the rest of you are also kind of wrangled into the um, meeting room that I you see. guys have been using. Oh, dazzle, it's a cow. What? Look at the, oh, what the fuck, Haley? <laughs> I didn't realize I was muted. Sorry, I was gonna show you my pet cows. Aww. Hello, pet cows. The sunset's so pretty there right now. Sorry to, uh, yeah, if I can focus, I would. But I can't see any video. You don't well, see it? Well, you're missing out. Oh, yeah. I know. I want to. I just don't know. I don't know how to get there for some reason. Oh, there we go. You can kind of see better. What's going on? It's a cow. She's showing us cows. Video. Press on the where it says general under video channels. Yeah, I don't have that. What? <gasps> Puppy. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to show you the cows while they were up here. Wait, no, I want to see. How well, often do you hear them? Are they noisy? No, not really. And look oh, at that I can puppy. See now. Look at that puppy. Do you like the cows? Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> she got scared. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like the cows. 
Well, she really, up to this point, hasn't acknowledged him a whole lot. Uh -huh. Wait, is that not, is that cow not in, like, a fenced off area? I'm confused. Yeah, Let's see if my Wi-Fi goes this far. Are these your cows? No. Oh, I was about to be They're shook. Just, I, live, I live by them. Well, no, those, are, those are my cows. Actually, I claim them. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Bury your cows. There's no, there's no water. You can't drown my cows. I can put them in a graveyard. Alright. Um, yeah, so you guys are kind of um, wrangled into the meeting room. Um, and the queen speaks up and she says, Oh, Ash, um, I know that you want to go back to Berlin to see your family. You mentioned that to me. And I also understand that the um, alleged haunting is becoming more serious. Uh, yeah. So I, I want you all to make the trek to Berlin and check out the reported hauntings at the harbor. Uh, there aren't too many things going on here. We've been kind of waiting, but I see no reason on waiting any longer. Take action where we can. So I want you to go to the harbor Try to resolve the issue if you can. If not, report back. Um, also, as an aside, you'll be traveling to Zazaspur, a port city that lies just outside of the Star Spire Mountains, if you're not familiar with the map. Um, it is my hope that we can regain contact with the dwarves who dwell in those mountains. Um, so before you book your travel to Valen for Zazaspur, please ask around and kind of see if if any of the locals have had contact with the dwarves. Um, the Duchess of Zazaspur has assured us of her loyalty, and she should be compliant. Um, oh. Moash wants to address her and say, do you have any idea of anyone who has um, contacts with people, or with the dwarves, that you think that we should reach out to first? Uh, that's kind of what I need you guys to find. I, 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 I've spoken with the Duchess. She's not very helpful. Um, okay. That's kind of the... Zazaspur is kind of the closest city to the Dwarves, so they do a lot of trading for different ores and minerals that are mined out of the mountain. Um, so they would be the ones to know if, if anyone knows. Uh, and so she goes, here are some of the documents needed to, to charter a boat from Zazaspur Harbor and some gold to hire a crew. Um, and uh, I guess uh, Moash, she hands uh, you the document in the pouch that contains 35 gold pieces. Um, okay. Which you can do whatever you want with, but it's, uh, it's enough to hire a crew. Um, she goes, oh, and um, before you leave, uh, Marius wanted to see you. Me specifically? I uh, know she says it to the group. Who? Okay. Um, then oh, I thank you for your help. I'm very excited to hopefully go and help out my brother and his family. Um, and we'll let you know as soon as we hear anything. Uh, yes, please do. Um, and keep the lookout for any of our, our strange gray skinned friends. Who did she say wanted to talk to us? What? Who did she say wanted to talk to us? Um, Marius. Who the fuck is that? I already forgot. That's the male court wizard. Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, Chris, are we all going with Gabe? Is there, or Moash to the... Is that like a... Is that, or should we all go help out? Or is that kind of a, just a side thing? No, yeah, so she said, I, I want you all to make the trek. To okay, the yeah. Awesome. Go yes. check out. We're, so we're going to check out the hauntings, and we're trying to reconnect with the dwarves, right? Exactly. Okay, cool. Uh, but we gotta check with the court map, wizard first. Um, if looking at a map of Tithir, um, then like so, Daramar is kind of at the bottom of Tithir, but uh, bottom slightly to right of center um, of the map. And then, so, Zazaspur is going to be on the left, so, like, to the west. It's going to be on the west coast, essentially. There's only one coast, but uh, it's going to be on the coast, and it's going to be a port city. And um, 
it's going to be further, obviously in the other direction, but further than Sarah Douche, but um, a but still like a clear road that goes there. Um, but there aren't really any cities in between. It's kind of a long trek on this on these plains, and then it's actually sits it sits um, on the coast, but it's also bisected by a river, um, and it sits kind of at the base of the Starspire Mountains as well. Um, and it, it's a much quicker to, to uh, travel there and then take a boat to Valen than it would be to travel to Valen by land. So that's why she's saying to do it that way. Oh, so I guess um, we get to relax How many? for the night. Oh, sure. or, uh, this is a new day we got something on, right? No, this is that same, like, that night. So are we trying to set out in the morning again, like... Wait, how many how many days? Make sense. Yeah. So you said we're gonna we're basically gonna leave this we're gonna leave Darmar and then we're gonna sail there like along. I'm confused. You're going to travel by land to Zazaspur. Okay. And from Zazaspur, you're going to sail to the land. And while you're in Zazaspur, we have to establish dwarves. And Zazaspur is sits at the base of the Starspire Mountains, which where the dwarves live. Nobody knows, other than the dwarf, the exact place where the dwarven city is. They don't let people in, typically. But they know of roundabouts, and it's near Zazaspur. Um, and Zazaspur is where they do all the trading with Tithir. And then from there, you know, they'll send them out. But, okay. um, and it's going to be a five-day journey to Zazaspur. And then from there, depending on kind of boat you get at and weather conditions, it could be um, a few days travel by sea to the land. We could gotcha. hire a crew. Yeah. Like I'm assuming that was brick and morty. Mm -hmm. You son of a bitch, I'm in. You son of a bitch, I'm in. I hated that episode the first time I saw it. The more I watch it, the more I like it. Oh, same. It grew on me. Um, okay, then I think we should go meet up with... Um, is it Marius or Marius? Marius. Right? Marius. Okay, yeah. we should go meet up with Marius since he's requested to see us. <clears throat> for sure. Barris looks very interested in that. So then I want to excuse myself from the Queen's presence and, and head that way. Oh, uh, yeah, she is. Uh, uh, you are dismissed. Um... Uh, but while we're here, should I work with the journal out? Oh, we can show it to the court wizards. Yeah. yeah. So I pull the journal out and hand it to the court wizard. Well, I pull the journal out, show it, and say, uh... Wait, wait, what? Wait, you guys haven't gone there yet. Yeah, we gotta uh, get to the wizard yeah, first. I thought we were already there. No. Okay, never mind. We trek uh, our happy asses so there. So you guys do want to go... Find Marius, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, so you guys kind of assume uh, that he's in. We're just going to call it the lab the now laboratory. because that's where they've they've been spending so much time. Both him and um, Veronica are spending so much time there, like day in and day out, um, working on all kinds of things, but mostly um, trying to discover something about this orb that you brought them. Um, you knock on the door, and um, Marius answers. You can see he's tired. He's got some bloodshot eyes, super, super prominent bags under his eyes. Um, he says, ah, you, you guys are here. Um, and you see kind of behind him, uh, you, there's a broom that's kind of sweeping up um, some glass shards that had fallen on, like, it looks like a beaker or something had, like, fallen and broken, and it was, it's, like, on its own, sweeping up the, um, the broken glass into a dustpan. Very cool. Um, he goes, ah, uh, excuse the mess, the broom was working on it. The broom Roomva, Chris. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> amazing. Um, yes. Uh, so, we haven't been able to make any headway on that route you gave us. 
However, uh, we have been able to do the on-large Amiga that is found with some focused arcane energy. Now, the gem sh should be able to attune to the same magical frequency as the portals that keep popping. You should take the gem, and the next time you guys portal, you need to stand in the spot. The portal comes into being and activate the gem. Okay. You kind of um, and he pulls that gem. You, he pulls that gem out of uh, out of one of his pockets, um, and it's kind of um, faintly glowing, and it's got some runes etched on it now. Um, and he goes, "You can activate the gem by speaking the command word Harumphion." And then the gem should glow red, but if it worked. And um, he then, um, um, he goes to hand the gem to someone who wants the gem. Uh, Berzik is very excited to take the gem. Yeah. Berzik does do the little grabby hands, do grabby hands motion, like a raccoon. Uh, I'm just like stepping towards him, like I, I'm like, yes, I'm... Okay, he hands it to you, and he goes, remember, Harumphayal. I wrote it down, Chris, don't worry. It's H-A-R-U-M-P-H-A-I-L. Damn, I was close. I had H-A-R-U-M-P-H-A-E-R-A-L. I thought you said yeah. L. Yeah. Close. Okay, I got it. And, um, and it, it, it we're, we're basically kind of, it's like a, Verzik with Verzik says to him, Trying to track them down, kind of. Well, we just need more information. That's the problem here, is we don't have enough information on, on anything, really. So this will, like, tell us, like, what spell it is? Or? Uh, no, but it, it'll attune to the same magical frequency as mm -hmm. the portal, meaning it should, in essence, it, it, it will copy the portal. So we should, if you bring us back after you've attuned it, we should be able to use the gem to create a portal of our own. Wouldn't that let them get in here? Uh, well, I don't think so. I think the idea is that it us to go there. But should be both ways. Yes, but you'd have to assume that someone was standing on the other side of the portal. I just kind of grunt and shake my head. I nod. These people are wiser than me. I'm just going to listen to them. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to... Uh, you don't yes, want to mansplain uh, the court wizard, Verzik? <laughs> I, it's okay, because it, I'm talking to the guy, so it's pretty okay, chill. <laughs> uh, all right, well... Um, off you go. He kind of like waves you away. He, he's eager to get back to work. It's like grueling, but he like he loves he loves the intrigue. So you can kind of tell he's getting lit. Maybe a little manic. <laughs> Just another manic Monday. It's actually Thursday right now. <laughs> how, 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 how would he you know? He's been in the lab all the time. Because I, I do know how to read a calendar. You have a calendar in there? Is it a puppy calendar? No, it's. You don't want to know no, what the calendar is? It's pictures of those hot chicks from the temple. <laughs> <laughs> they did a um, fundraiser for the old. And they sure did. <laughs> the no, 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 who told you that? Who told you that? <laughs> Where can I get a copy, my boy? <laughs> don't you have somewhere to be? <laughs> like. Shuts the door on you. <laughs> His face is flushed. But it, it's, uh, oh my god! I, I'm just picturing when the in the adventures when they're walking down the tunnel and they're just uh, and Magnus is trying to show everyone the nudes from his girlfriend back home. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> it's just three days of nudes. Yikes! Oh. Yikes! Moving on from that, so I think what we you guys think we should get a good night's sleep and then set off in the morning yeah definitely there's a lot more study sweet <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so you guys are just going to go night-night? Night-night. Yeah. Night-night. Okay. Um, so yeah, you guys can take a long rest then. Go to bed and take a long rest. Um, there, Zek, you will need to go get your, your assignment before you leave. Yeah, so that would, I'd probably wake up a little earlier than that. Well, what depends what time of day is it? Is it like, would I still want to go get it today? Uh, no, it's nighttime. You wouldn't want to wake anyone. Then I'd probably go try. I try. I'd wait. I'd, I'd be setting my, you know, I'd be setting my fantasy alarm clock. Get there very nice and early. <laughs> Your alarm spell. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I've got alarm spell, and it's gonna wake me up at uh, like six a.m. to early rise. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so you guys wake up in the morning. Bears, like you do your. Um, your professors and get your assignments that you're for like the next two weeks because you're not really sure how long you're going to be. Um, and um, you guys head out, right? Yes? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. Okay. Um, you guys um, are going to be traveling by foot. I think, or maybe maybe like a horse and buggy, like a yeah. I think that's going to be more make more sense. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I need to like on the tip of my nose. Um, yeah. So I think you guys are head out like in a unless you guys would rather not do this. I guess you guys tell me how you would like to travel. Um. Try to fly down the king and wolf for Do you think we could just requisition horses from the stable? Um, yeah, you could do that, like you did at Sarah Dush. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the queen letter Yeah, I mean, the king did send us on this mission, so I think I would just try to find the stable bolt master. Just tell him, like, hey, I, we spoke with the queen yesterday. She's sending on a, us out on a mission. We'd like to borrow some horses. Yeah, you guys can get horses. Do you guys just want to each ride a horse? Or did you guys want to do kind of like a horse and caravan? Like, you've got, like, two horses and the rest of you, like, riding in the back or something. You guys can do either one. Um, I'd like to ride a horse. But I, I will say, like, riding a horse, like, traveling on a horse is very uncomfortable. Yeah, Bearsick would rather be at a time. Then he can, do, uh, he, can do, he can do work. He can study and do assignments. Yeah, actually, I don't think I, I don't think I, I doubt my character has ridden a ton of horses. So I yeah, I like, you, most travel, like, would either be on foot or, like, in a horse and buggy or carriage or something like that, because, I mean, yes, people do ride horses around, but it's not a comfortable thing to, like, even if it's saddled, riding five days in a row would be, oof. Yeah. You roll it on your thighs. Yeah, you'd be chafing up a storm. Plus, I have all of books. I have healing spells for that. I'm perfectly comfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dowsel probably would be the most comfortable, just because her skin. <laughs> well, that's fair. Yeah, so I think I think a horse and a uh, like a buggy or like a carriage or something like that would make the most sense. You guys could do like a horse and carriage, and Dazzle, do you want to drive? Sure. Why? Right, yeah. Let me try these horses. Whoa, we need I think for six people, is two horses? That sounds like plenty to me. Or maybe four? I like four. I guess it depends on how, if like, if Dazzle is like super heavy, you can drag it more. Or maybe, maybe like two oh, mules, because mules can like do more. But I feel like we're going to want something that moves fast. Four horses. Well, you don't want something that moves fast in a carriage. Four oh, mules. Yeah. Four mules. Like they go fat. They're faster than walking. It's four mules. Yeah, it's four mules and a carriage yeah. or a caravan or call it. You guys have like some space, but it's not like there's six of you and carriages aren't that big. So like you've got leg room, but not a whole lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like a, a economy seat on an airplane. Right. Like yeah. maybe a economy plus. 
<laughs> you, like, you like get the extra leg You get the like extra leg room, but you still like you're still an economy, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's still not like nice. It's just better than the work. Right, you, right. Right. And um, like you have enough room for like your stuff and you, but like you can't really like you can't like sleep in it. Like you're gonna have to camp to sleep because it's not that big. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotcha. Um, and, um, so, oh, oh, this is a good time to mention, um, a, a rule, uh, like, a uh, an alternate rule that I want to implement, and I think this will help us, on top of, uh, during, for combat, on top of everyone just kind of really trying to prepare their turn in advance, knowing what you want to do, so that way things can go more quickly, I'm going to implement the cleave rule a little bit altered, but um, essentially that means uh, the cleave rule means that if you make a melee weapon attack against a creature and you deal more damage than HP it has, then that damage will carry over to another creature that's within five feet. Oh, nice. So basically, like, if you've got, like, four enemies right in front of you and you attack one for... 20 damage and um, like you know like 16 will kill it then you can deal 4 damage to a creature that's next to it oh god what's happening I just got back oh I'm introducing a um, alternate rule called the cleave rule okay. um, essentially um, if you're dealing if you deal damage to a creature you can deal that kills it enough damage to kill it then you can deal excess that the excess damage to another creature within five feet of it. Oh, so uh, yeah, like a swordsman cut through something. Exactly. So it makes sense in a way. And you guys are like higher, a little higher level, so it makes sense that you'd be a little We're better at combat. combat. Yes. Um, and this would only deal with like melee weapons. It d doesn't really make sense for this to work for other maybe like for spells or anything else. No, I think for the sake of of this particular rule, it's going to only work with melee weapons, which a few of you guys use. I have a deck in my fist. Well, you've got Halt, and you've got Mary Jane uses her mace. Or, right? Mary Jane uses a mace. Yeah. And Demaya has melee weapons. I don't know if I use that. Yeah, I have them. Vehicle proficiency, it looks like. So, if we need somebody to drive, I think, would I be able to kind of drive and study at the same time? Or just kind of be an entry going path? Um, no. And I think Dazzle wanted to drive. Oh, if Dazzle started, I'm definitely down to just sit in the back and read my books. Yeah, can I study herbalism? Um, yeah, so I'd say anybody who's not driving can actually spend their days um, doing their, like, off-time activities. So how many days are we going to need to add to studying verbalism? So we'll say you guys travel three days, um, no problem.
a, a tower, and then as you get a little closer, um, it looks like uh, kind of a castle. Um, and what I'll say is, as you're getting closer, I'll, it's, it's a, a Mott and Bailey castle, which um, that means it's, it's like a fortification that's got like a, it's got like a stone keep that's situated on a raised area of ground. Okay, somebody needs to mute. <laughs> Fuck, sorry, it's me. Yeah, hold on. Oh. Okay, that's much better. I could just hear myself echoing, and I hate hearing myself talk. Um, so it's a fort. It's like a it's a stone keep that's situated on a raised area of the ground, and then it's got a walled courtyard um, surrounded by um, a palisade, which is kind of like a, a wooden fence type deal. Um, and, uh, you can see that the castle is in a state of deterioration, large portions of the palisade crumbling. There's a guard hut in the front, um, and you see a creature in it, um, and, uh, there, it's, uh, actually situated, um, 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 near a little tributary river, and, uh, uh, there is a gate that leads you into this the road leads straight up to this castle and um, through it and through this gate. And um, as you guys get a little closer, um, out of the little guard hut, you see a red uh, humanoid with pointy ears uh, walk out. And he says, uh, uh, Halt. Um, Okay, the, who was driving? Uh, hey. Alright, you want to, then I would like put my hand on your arm to like stop it. Okay. And say, hey, hail and well met. <laughs> Can we confirm he's not calling out to our friend Halt? <laughs> I think context clues would tell you no because he cannot see halt. <laughs> and uh, I would, I would, sh I would like yell over to him because he's still pretty far away, right? Um, yeah, maybe a uh, um, hundred feet. Yeah, well, I would just yell over to him like, uh, "We're we're just passing through using the road. Um, why why are you having a stop? You gotta pay the toll." Oh my god! And. Uh, Mo, Ash, can you roll a perception check for me and Dazzle's? What am I supposed to do? Uh, um, a perception, so d20 plus your perception modifier. One, two, three. Oh, after they roll, I would like to, like, come out in the front and, like, show my signia. You wow. cannot see what's happening. Okay. You're inside the carriage. An eight and an 18. Um... Okay, Moash, you're just focused on talking to this dude. Dazzle, you kind of look around, and you can see that on either side of the gate, there's a little tower, and each has a goblin in it. And, uh, and you can actually see that, um, and knowing how gates work, you can actually see that the goblins are kind of standing near these mechanisms that would open the gate. So you would think that they're the ones who are kind of operating the gate. Yeah. Um, while while I'm still smiling at, at this, um, is there a goblin that we're talking to? Um, mm. roll a intelligence check. Yeah. Hey, Chris. This would not. This would certainly work. Probably understand the situation. I'm kind of like an extortion situation, right? Like you wouldn't find it either. You know that this is a hobgoblin. Okay. Chris, you're munching. I'm eating some um, sweet um, cheese. Oh, good. I was asking Chris if we would know that this is like an extortion type situation, or maybe we would think this is like actually like some kingdom just collecting toll roads. Um, I don't know how dumb is your character. I mean, pretty smart, intelligence-wise. I see a hobgoblin, and I'm immediately thinking this is not a good buddy. Yeah, I think that I think that you guys kind of know what's going on, and it's a matter of 
what do you want to do about it? I'm going to, like, can I get, do I know this is happening? Like, why we stop? No, at this point, all of you who are in the carriage have now realized that the carriage has stopped, but you have no idea what's going on outside of the carriage. Which, uh, so, I'm like, yeah, like, oh. wait, I want to I lean over to Dazzle while I'm still kind of smiling at this hot goblin. And I want to tell her, um, whisper to her, like, hey, follow my lead and be ready. Okay. And I want to hop down. As, and as I'm hopping down, I want to, like, just pat, like, wrap on the uh, carriage. Just, like, just a knock. Because I don't want to say anything. Um, hey, hey what, are you, what are you doing over there? Uh, I, I'm coming to pay the toll. I, uh, I would like the toll, right? Yeah, I do. It's, it's yeah. It's going to be ten gold pieces each. Ten yeah, gold perfect. Pieces. Okay, then. So ten plus ten, that's twenty. All right, I can do that. Um, and then I, I'm walking uh, like and, walking. And it's going to be down. ten for each. Everyone inside the, the caravan too. Oh, the, there's no one inside. This is an empty caravan. We're transporting this back to uh, not Melon. What's the city? Sorry, I forgot the name. Uh, uh, roll a deception check. Okay. As he's doing this, oh, when he wrapped on the carriage, can I hop out the back, like stealthily? There's no back. back. It's, it's kind. Of, it's like a. Tr- it, there's a door on the side. I'm allowed to pass a straight up novel. Wagon. There we go. Yeah, that's some bullshit. <laughs> I know you got people in there. That's a traveling caravan. You think it's empty? What do you think? I look, do I look stupid to you? No, no. You definitely don't look stupid to me. In fact, you look rather smart. So Hey, don't pay to recognize me, fella. Oh, I, I would never. So I'm, to I'm getting out the freaking... So 10, 10 gold pieces per, per person. So yeah. there's me, my friend here, and then three others. The math are up, right? You, you know what? You know what? Why don't Why don't you have everybody come out? Uh, I will see. say, Chris, the entire time that I've been talking to him, I've been walking closer and like motioning to walk with. I don't want to. I don't want to leave the horses though. What? They're, they're mules. mules. With our three <laughs> other companions. Ow! Fuck. Wait, what? Sorry, my cat bit me. I forgot how to be away from us. Uh, no, but there's only three of them, aren't there? There's only three that we know of, but I'm like, okay, so if I'm wishing you, would you not follow me? I think either way I would be doing what I do. We can't run. I'm not. I'm walking towards them. I'm not planning to run, really. I'm saying where I'm at. <laughs> All right, fine. Then I'm walking up alone. <laughs> Poor hey, Moab. Hey, why don't you, no, you stay where you are and everybody get out of the caravan. Yeah, well, I, I, I mean, do you want this money or not? Because I'm coming to pay you. Like, they can they can get out as they want. But I gotta see how many people are in there. I, like, yell that back over my shoulder. I was like, I just told you, it's me and my friend, and there's three others. I've got a lot of mules. There's a kid now. Yeah, I got out a long time ago. Patrick did say he wanted out. Patrick said he okay, out. so if Hulk walks out... Then he is going to immediately hand to Hilt because Halt is dressed like a knight. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna walk, I'm just keep walking over to where uh, Moash is. But did, did they already say? Did they already say what the toll? Stop. Sorry. Hold on. Give me just a second. There's what? Yeah, I, I, Haley, I said that we were just passing through and we were using the road, and they said we well, have yeah, to pull first. But they didn't say, like, who the pull okay. No, they to. didn't. And at this point, he has put his hand on his, the hilt of his sword, and the goblins in oh. the two towers have uh, drawn their bows, because it, what it, it looks like to them, them is Halt has come out to fight them. As soon as he that, I'm casting magic missile at the hot goblin. What the fuck? Why? And then, I was literally just walking out, out like, my hands up. You know, we can't have a civil conversation with anyone. <laughs> They're hobgoblins. Oh, that dad is really always so mad. Uh, she is right. Not every situation has to end in a fight. Yes, it does. Well, that's, that's not D&D to me, Chris. 
Everything I mean, deserves I a fight. Fight, also... We could have had more of a dialogue. You could have said anything you wanted that entire time. Fight, you know, fight, you fight. Know, <laughs> everybody settle down. I, I just want to know that, like, yeah, everybody settle down and everybody roll initiative because these guys are for sure not surprised. <laughs> One D twenty. <laughs> so they're just gonna attack as soon as I just start walking. Before it ends up. Well, that the fact that Moash wasn't stopping when he said to stop, and then Halt jumps out of the caravan. Oh. Um, Damn, you know, Basil. armored to the teeth. All right. Um, okay, Verzik, what's your initiative? <laughs> Everybody else roll. Uh, I got a 21. I got a 12, Chris. Oh, wait, are you going to do the thing? Demaya? Uh, I got a 9. Dazzle. Mary Jane? 15. And Moash, is at a 21? Yeah. What? Oh. 15. Okay, um, and it makes sense for Moash to go first, so you are first. All right, I'm still casting Magic Missile at the guy at the level of peace level. Um, yeah, so the Hobbit's going to say, you're going to regret that. Um, okay. Um, okay. Uh, well, you'll be dead as I draw my sword. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I should just, it just hits, so. Yeah. Just tell me damage. <laughs> 15 points of oh damage. Oh my gosh. Fuck them up. So all all at the Hobgoblin? Yep, all at the Hobgoblin. Okay. Yeah, you hit hemorrhagic missiles and um, you just, he literally he falls to the ground after getting hit by all, how many missiles is there? Four. Yeah, you hit one, hits him in the chest and he goes, Ugh. one hits him in the arm and it like knocks his sword out of his hand. One hits him in the in the helmet, or in the head. He doesn't, he's not wearing a helmet. Um, and then one hits him in the leg, and you go down. Um, he's dead. <laughs> you shot, uh, wait, I guess it's not. So I was going to say I was going to shout on a goblin. Uh, Dazzle, you're up. Yeah. Dazzle, you can uh, all the pieces you want. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Actually, Gabe, Gabe, what was the range on Magic Man? It's 120 feet. Okay, you're good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to where I'm in front of the mule bulls. Okay. So I'm currently still in the carriage or whatever. And you're going to be about 120 feet from these two goblins in the towers. After I get out and move in front of them? Yeah. Because the guard tower is about 100 feet. Feet, but these guys are actually further back because they're like, you know, at the gate. Yeah. Where is my. Alright, so I'm going to move, I guess, within range. Um, how far can I move? 30? So I'm going to move 30 feet up. So now I'm 90 feet from him. Is that what Am I right? Yeah. I don't think I can do anything from 90. You can try and talk with them. Maybe you can try and intimidate them or something. Yeah, you could send your snake? Uh, Is there a limit on your snake? No, I don't think so. I guess not. Well, it can only move so much per turn, can it? Like, it won't so turn. Yes, and you will be acting as the snake. Well, that's what I'm saying. It can only, it can only, what, like 30 or 40 feet? Yeah, I think it's like 40 feet for the snake. So it's still, um, oh, where is my, how far is my, oh, here it is. No, that's not, yeah. Um, okay, so I'm moving 30 feet. I can't do anything else, so. What I'm gonna do is you can actually you can take the dash action and move another thirty feet. 
And that puts you 60 feet away. Oh, great. Back, please. Okay, I'm gonna need to know. I'm gonna do okay. that. Adrian, mute your mouth. Shit, my mind. Yeah. My computer is going. It's like doing the thing. It's freaking out. Okay. Um, how far to you? If you take, if you take the dash action, you're within sixty feet, and then all you have left is the bonus action. If you want to take a bonus action. It's a wild shape. Well, I was trying to see if. Okay. Well, I don't know. This won't be helpful, but I'm just gonna do it for um, the fun of it. And y'all are all gonna hate me. I'm gonna do the uh, fog cloud. So I'm not gonna take the dash action. I'm only gonna move thirty feet, and then I'm gonna cast my fog cloud spell, okay. which means I create a twenty foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. So I'm gonna pick the guy, at the the main one. The hog oh, he's spell. dead. Okay, then I'm gonna pick the one one in the tower because it's only twenty foot high, and so they're not within twenty foot of each other. Or are What's they? the range on that spell? So, uh, 120 foot. Okay. Are they are they within 20 feet of each other? Um. Yeah, bare, like it, it barely. You would have to center it in the middle okay, to get, and they would both, but then they would both be on the edges. That's fine. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my fog cloud spell right in the middle of both of them. That way, they're both on the edge, so they can't see anything. But we can, I guess, like, see the, the shadow of the towers? Um, yes, but you all would have disadvantage on attacks because you can't see into the... Yes. They would also have disadvantage. They would also have disadvantage. Yes, that's why I said they're going to hate me for this one. I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, then it's going to be the, one of the goblins' turns, <laughs> and uh, he is going to well, let me check something. and the other goblin goes, but you guys can't see what's happening, so next is Halt. Hold on. Full movement, 60 feet up. Okay. And how that's far, everything? How far away will I be? Because I was walking out with Moat, or uh, like, to me, to walk out. Uh, uh, you're like 65. You're just slightly behind Basil. So you would be around 65 feet away? From the, but also, um, excuse me, um, just know that you can't get into any of either of these towers from this end. Like, there's not a way to get up there. There's not, like, a ladder on this end of the, well, I have an idea. Yeah, I'm running. Just be, be, be aware of that. Mary Jane, you're up. Um, okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to dash forward. So you get out of the carriage and then dash forward. Yeah, I thought about protecting the mules, <laughs> but I'm going to dash forward and try to catch up with everyone else. Okay, you're going to be a little bit behind Paul, so you're going to be about 70 feet away. Okay. And next is Verzik. Um, 
Yeah, so I guess. So we can't see, like, we can't see either of the goblins at all. No, and there's two so towers, just be just be aware of that. One on either side of the gate. Okay. You now there's a huge fog cloud that has covered essentially the entire gate and both towers, but then it's, that's kind of the entire area. So I would, in theory, if they were to like, have jumped off or started to climb down the ladder or something. We didn't see any arrows fly out of space, right? No, you didn't see any arrow. You that's didn't see anything. Yes, is the gate yes. Closed? yes, the gate is closed. Oh, okay. So, yes. If I was to, I guess obviously they can hear us. If I was to yell, uh, what's the problem though? They'll probably understand me. If I try to speak common. I guess I'll, I'll just uh, move a little bit closer, like move my 30 feet of movement, and then just try and uh, communicate with them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell, or like yell out. Leader's dead, let us in. And we'll hey. marry you. I, uh, I basically said, let us in, and we'll let you live. I, I guess I'm going to try an intimidation roll. Uh, okay. Roll an well, intimidation roll. They then. can't see me, so the wizard looks a lot more spooky. I sound a lot scarier than I would. I guess I should say. Roll an intimidation roll. Oh, but not a nat twenty. Not a nat at twenty. So not a not a ridiculous success. And I mean, obviously, or whatever. I forget how. Um, they can test it. I don't even remember. No, and you. Just, I just said a DC. I mean, I could. I guess I could like contest it with like insight or something like that, but. Um, yeah, so, so you hear, um, uh, fuck, 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 fuck off, like, sounds kind of scared, though. <laughs> Wait, is that, like, it, or can I, like, talk back? No, that's it. Um, Demaya, it's your turn. <laughs> um, I, I think with the fog and everything, like, after the fog shows up, I I think that Demaya's straight up just gonna like <laughs> take a hot seat like on the carriage and kind of just wait because <laughs> I can't really shoot any arrows at anybody right now. <laughs> There's no point in losing my arrows in the fog. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, it'll be back to my lash. Okay, so just to make sure I understand right, so the gate's closed in front of us, and then there are towers on the left and right side of the gate. And that's where the, they're at, right? That is where you last saw them before can, the fog right. cloud went. Can, can I, like, pinpoint when, when they yelled back at us to fuck off? And, like, I kind of tell it go on the tower? Or... Um, it came from the left side. But you don't know where. You just know uh, it came from the left side. Can I... So can I see the actual towers themselves, like, at the wall? You can kind of see an outline, but you can't see them. Okay, and then are the towers, were the towers wooden when I could see them? Um, they are stone, um, and then the roofs were probably um, wooden or like thatched or something like that. Okay, well, since I can't actually see a lot, uh, how far away from, my, from the gate am I? I believe you're, uh, you're... You were, um, you were probably like 90 because you were starting to move towards him before he... Okay. Then I just want to take the back action and run 60 feet. Okay, so... So that puts you at 30 feet. 30 feet. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, the Azul. Okay, so um, we're still far enough that so who's the, who's standing the closest to me? Um, I think Mayor. What do no, uh, I'm sitting uh, on the carriage. <laughs> you're it's it's um it's halt. 
So if they were to like leave the towers, well, that's why they would have gone. Taunt, taunt them more than intimidate them. Okay, you know so what, what do you say? Um, um, I say something along the lines of, uh, I don't know, like if you, I don't, uh, um, if you if you really want to avenge your leader's death, come out and fight us or something like that. I don't know, some shit. Um, I guess roll an intimidation. Alright, that'll work. Um, do you hear from the right side? You can't really tell exactly where, but you hear. Um, Why do you guys even think that guy was our leader? Playing to it. Am I able to like talk, or is it? It's my turn over. Um, I think between you talking to Holt and Mary Jane and then doing okay. that, I think it's gonna. Go. So, so next month, the, the goblins are gonna go, and um. Then it's Holt's turn. <laughs> Okay, I'm going. I'm gonna look at Mary Jane and Dazzle and myself. Okay. Hey, act like you're trying to hit me with like weapons or spells, but don't actually hit me. And I'm going to put on the hat of disguise and turn into the um, leader hobgoblin. Um, these goblins suck. I'm just gonna turn into a goblin, it's a regular goblin, some random looking goblin I've seen throughout my journey. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm very interested. And I'm, uh, I'm very not convinced this is a good idea. 
And then I'm going to run like full dash for everything. Um, they so can't I'm, see you. Patrick. I know they can. And I'm t I told Mary J. I said, tell them to like shoot things at me, but don't follow me up close to the castle or the gate. Yeah, I'm going to run all the way to the wall. She said I'm 65 feet away, so I'm 5 feet away from the gate or whatever. Okay, but you put the hat of disguise on? Yes, and turn into a regular goblin, I've seen. Okay, and then you move 30 feet to the gate. I like Do action to use that? Yeah. You've got six targets right there, pulling open your bag, putting on the hat. Yeah, it's an action. Yeah, as long as I'm 30 feet, so I'm 35 feet away. Now it's my turn. Actually, action surge. I run all the way up to this. What? You're going to action surge to dash? Yep. What? Selling out for this goblin disguise. Action surge Damn. is something that a fighter can do, Haley. Um, his cost allows him to... Essentially, he can axe and search, and he gets to take another action, but he can only do it once. Okay. So, 30 more feet up to the wall. Okay. Well, to the gate. I want to try to, like, be around, like, the like not right in front of the gate. I want to, like, be, like, on the wall side, like, around the tower. So okay, so which side? At the left or right? I'll do the right side. Okay. Then, uh, okay. Mary Jane. Uh, um, so how far am I from this gate? Uh, you're 65 feet away. And the fog still hasn't cleared? Uh, no, I think it lasts a minute. Okay, so I can't see the, the gate at all? No. You know where it was, but you can't see the gate. So can I just cast in that direction? You can, yeah. If you're trying to roll an attack, then you have disadvantage. Okay, I want to just try to hit the gate. Okay. With the guiding bolt. Um, okay. So Is it just, do you just roll an attack roll on that one? Yeah, it says on a hit, the target takes 4d6 radiant damage. Okay, then you need to roll to attack. What do I roll? 46? No, that's the damage. You need to roll the 1d20 plus your spell attack modifier, okay. which is on your character sheet somewhere. Uh, you said you plus disadvantage or? Yes, but you roll twice and take the lower number. Okay, sorry. 24. Uh, uh, and then roll again, because you take the lower now. Oh, God. 25! So you take the 24. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Technically, it says that you're supposed to it, it attack a creature, but um, we can say you can attack, try to attack the gate. Um, just weird how... Um, Because the thing about that involves is just radiant damage, and I have to. Does a gate have resistance to radiant damage since it's not like a thing? But go ahead and roll, roll 46. Okay. Do I get plus anything, or is it just 46? It's just 46. So you guys say the number 46, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, that's all of No, 4d6. Um, 16, so, yeah, um, sure. Give me just a second. Uh, okay. okay. So, you hit this gate, and it, um, you start to see, you see the outline of the gate now, um, littering, um, and you can set, kind of see the outline as it glows, because this, um, this uh, uh, this spell uh, has the target glitter and a dim light. 
Okay. Next is um, Verzik. Uh, I'm actually going to cast the cantrip Thunder Clap. What that does okay. is a hundred. My the range is a hundred feet, and so up to a hundred feet away. And from there, I can choose a point that is like a twenty. Twenty. Uh, it's just a burst of thunder that can be heard up to 100 feet away, and I get to pick a point. Oh! You don't pick a point. It's, like, around yeah. you. Yeah, I see. Now, I'm not going to do that. I would attack my teammates. And, and only your teammates. I guess I'm going to move plus another 30 points so I'm within 60 feet, and I'm going to do, I'm going to grab frost the gate, like, once you attack the gate, but also try to get the gate. So, yeah, you lose my movement towards the gate, Right, because I should be six. Feet uh, you're actually six five feet because you're with Lexi. Okay, then I guess. Okay. I guess I'll just do. I'll just I'll move up and I'll cast Mage Armor on myself because I mean it seems like a good time to do it. We might have. To do it. Okay. Okay. So that will be my turn. All right, Demaya. Okay, so the gate looks, like, charred, I guess, at this point? It's like, you can see the outline glowing now because of the spell that uh, Mary Jane cut. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's really nothing to do. I think, Demaya, at this point, like, I was sitting on the carriage, and now I'm feeling like I'm just gonna, like, do, like, the lazy lay down with, like, leg propped up, and I'm just gonna, like, flip my coin around and watch. <laughs> like, there's really not much to do. <laughs> Okay. Um, the next is Moash. I'm 30 feet away from the gate now, right? I think so, yeah. Well, I'm just going to move up all the way up to the gate. Um, and does it does it look very damaged at all from that bolt? You can't see the actual... Oh, you move all the way up to the gate. Yeah. Um, you see, like, a charred, I guess, like, hit, like, where the spell hit it, mm -hmm. but, like, it's does, it's not, like, significantly damaged. It's not, okay. well, the gate is not dripping blood. So, like, it looked like it charred a big chunk off, but, like, it's a big gate, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, then what I want to do is I want to try to listen, like, put my ear to the gate and listen and see if I can hear like anyone else like coming up to the gate or to the towers or anything. Like if I can hear anyone besides those two goblins. Um, okay, then I, I guess roll a perception check. other side of the gate right now. Okay. That's it. Alright, uh, Dazzle. Yeah. Okay, so, I'm gonna try and do another intimidation sure. check. Um, and the purpose of this is so that I can see if they're still there. Like, for them to respond. Also, while I'm, while I'm yelling at them, I'm making my way back to my post of the carriage in preparation to bust through these gates. Nat 20! Is, wait, wait, sorry, the nat 20 is for what? Uh, my intimidation check. Okay. You have, uh, tell me what you say. Oh, uh, well, so they, they said something about why it would be assumed that he was their leader, so I'm just going to be like, well, we assumed that he was your leader because he seemed to be leading. Don't seem like a bunch of fucking cowards. <laughs> okay, but what do you Sick say that's like to intimidate them? Uh, 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 the, the, like, the, you could say that, but in addition to that, like, if you're going to do an intimidation check, what do you say that's like going to try to intimidate Try to get somebody to swing on you in Northgate. What the fuck do you say to them? To swing on me? I don't know. Yes, because I've been in that situation so many times. I mean, you've been alive, but like, 
Uh, uh, well, I don't Like, you're trying to, uh, to frighten them. Well, yeah, but remember, my initial thing was to taunt them, not necessarily frighten them. Um, I mean, them either way, I, either way, it's like, what you thing. said isn't really enough. Yeah. Either. Well, it's not really going to taunt them. Because he was and, leading, he got very good people management skills. And then I'm, I'm just going to say, like, I don't know, if you come out, then we can have a real fight or something. I don't know. No, just, like, commit to it. Just just say it. Like, what would Dazzle say? Dazzle, I'm just trying to get them to talk. If if you come out, then we can have a real fight. Yeah, but say it all, like, intimidating. Like, well, why are you... No, go. You so can do it, Dazzle. If you're intimidation, if you're trying to do a persuasion, you that, uh, and you keep the same role because it's charisma. I read persuasion, but it says it has to be, um, it has to be good-natured. This is not necessarily good-natured. Um, it says, I mean, I, I don't agree with that. I think you can try to persuade someone to have to be good-natured. Okay, well, that's why I didn't do that, because it says... Well, I guess, for the most part, the way these checks should work is you should, you guys should be telling me what you you want to do, and then in, in response, I tell you okay. if and what kind of check you should do. So tell you, like you tell me, like oh, I'm trying to, to get them to come out. Then I might have said, oh yeah, we'll make a persuasion check. Okay, I'm good. Instead of you telling me like, hey, I want a persuasion check or an intimidation check, just you know, tell me what you want to do, and I'll try to find the check that fits the best. Okay, so I'm trying to get them to respond and or come out. Yeah. So you say like. Hey, come out here and have a real fight. Yes. And then, so with a net twenty, um, uh, I guess uh, you don't hear anything. But um, Moash, you have your ear to the gate, and you hear, um, "Hey, dude, do you ever wonder how we do this? And it's so dishonorable. Like, maybe we should. Maybe we should go out there and fight. You know, like man to man." <laughs> is the gate not, not how broken is the gate it's not that broken but you can't see that from where you are but Moash can I just like I just like turn back and give a thumbs up to Dazzle so I'm like she, she can't see you because you're in the fog <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would like to say that at this point I'm like back in the carriage you would have to Go yeah. back yeah, like so to, sixty. No, I moved thirty feet. No, you move sixty feet your first turn. No, no did you only I moved thirty feet because I did the fog cloud. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I move thirty feet back into the carriage. Okay. Well, add the carriage, not in it. What? Uh, Can no. I move in it? Uh, okay. You get back to to the carriage, but you won't be able to get in it with your movement this turn. Okay. Um, so you didn't hear a response, but just like as Dazzle, but as Haley, just know that that's kind of what they were yeah. saying. And then next are the goblins. And um, Moash, you hear a sh behind the gate. Um, like somebody's climbing something. Halt, your turn. So I'm on the base of the right tower, and I'm gonna uh, swing my gravel hook and throw it to try to like, like catch it on the ledge. Um, okay, yeah, there's like there's ways that it could work. So like roll um, roll a ranged attack. What do I add? Whatever you would add to a ranged attack, which is modifier plus proficiency. Um, you're not going to be proficient in this. So it's plus one. That's my bad. Uh, sure. I don't know what a ranged attack modifier. It would be like as if you were going to shoot a bow, but it's plus dex plus proficiency. But minus proficiency because you're not proficient in the grappling. 
doesn't really minus efficiency. Oh, ooh, night to 20. Not non -nat. minus, but like a new one. Non nat 20. Yeah, so you throw this grappling hook, you kind of like twirl it around and chunk it up there, and it um, it uh, wraps perfectly around like a support beam on this tower and um, holds fast. But then I'm going to begin climbing with full for level left. Um, well, you, you didn't move yet. Yeah. Um, and you would, it would commit. Your, I think climbing speed is allowed to the speed. How tall is the tower? Um, I'd say it's only about, um, it's, it's, you could probably climb up. It's only probably about 12 feet tall. Well, then, yeah, I climb all the way up in there. Like, to, to get to the point where you can get in, and it's taller than that, but yeah. to where the opening would be. Once I climb through the opening. Um, okay. Uh, I think I should make you... I think you're supposed to roll a climbing check. Uh, um, yeah, an acrobat or an, ath an athletics check, and that'll actually let me know. No, yeah, roll athletics check, and that'll tell me how far you get up the... Uh, 14. Yeah, so the 14, you, like, get almost, like, to the ledge, but you can't quite get in yet. So, yeah. Can I see over the ledge? Like, can I see in? <laughs> um, no, you got your hand right on the ledge. The goblin eyes Mary Jane, you're up. Um, okay, so how far am I from the gate at this point? Did you move forward last turn? I didn't. I think I meant to, but I didn't. It's okay. Then you're still 65 feet away. Okay, and how long do the clears? How many? It's on a minute. It's a 10 round of combat. For a while. <laughs> Uh, Dazzle could also dismiss it if she wanted to. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, what? No, you can. Um, it's just... Uh, it's just... It takes a lot to turn the direction until a wind of moderate or greater speed disperses it. it. But it's a concentration spell, and... Oh. Uh, oh, up, it can last for up to an hour. I'm sorry, not a minute. Oh, yeah, um, you can also because since it's concentration, that that means that if you lose concentration on the spell, it dissipates. Oh. Meaning you could purposefully stop concentrating on it and then make it go away. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm just letting you know that you could. Okay, okay, I don't know that. I think yeah. the only thing I can think to do is to cast Guiding Bolt. Are you going to move closer? Oh, yeah, I'll move. So you're 35 feet away. Oh. oh. How far can I move? 30 feet is your movement speed, so you can move 30 feet closer. Shoot it into the fog. Okay. Yeah, don't take aid. <laughs> um, or my lash. Can I see him? No. 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 He's in the fog. And you are not in the fog yet. He's in the fog oh. with his ear pressed to the gate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like if I didn't see him, I would probably cast Guiding Bolt again. I, if I didn't know he was right there. Yeah, I mean, you know he's in the fog, you just don't know where. <laughs> yeah. Um, You're just going to cast it right in the same spot. Yeah, can, uh, so wait, but I can see the outline of the gate. Yes, still, right? you can. Oh, um, are there any weak spots? Can I can I see any weak spots? You can't see the gate itself. All you can see is like a shining coming through the fog, and it's in the outline of the gate. You can't see the actual physical gate. Okay. Think of like when you see like a glowing light when it's like super misty outside. You can't see what it is, but you can see the glow. Yeah. That's but then wouldn't that be a shadow of Moash? Yeah. Probably. Oh, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Guys I are like making this was, so common. Like if there was a shadow of a light and someone was standing in front of it, you would be able to see their shadow. Uh, sure. You can see a shadow of... Okay, cool. Then I'm like to the side of him. <laughs> well, you can't really... I mean, you can't really 
you'll just roll uh, to hit, and then we'll see happen. Roll super bad, eh? I'm enjoying the yeah. critical hit, thinking that this is requiring. Yeah. You guys are making it very difficult for me. Um, sorry, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else I could cast. You can I cast it. Like her, her boyfriend, both physically and mentally today. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna cast it to the side of him, like as far to the side as I can. Okay, just roll roll it to hit. Do I, I still have disadvantage, right? No, because your spell gave you advantage. Oh. <laughs> A nine. Uh, Fuck. Yeah. So you, um, I mean, it's a big gate. Uh, you don't, uh, ow, uh, yeah, you miss, like, you just kind of shoot off into the abyss, into the fog, but you don't hit, okay. you, like, hit this, the wall or something next to the gate, like, okay, cool, well, at least I didn't hurt my last. no, uh, very, very sick, you're up. Okay, so I guess following the same logic as Lexi, I saw her kind of shooting at the gate, and I guess I'll take the same kind of approach. Are you going to move within range first? Yeah, so my range is 60 feet. Uh, so how close are you moving then? I'll move all 30 feet closer, so like I'll be kind of up. I'll be around 30 feet away from Yes, yes. And then I'm going to cast a Ray of Frost on the gate. Okay. So, I'll just do the three spell attack. Oh, well. 14 plus 3, not 43. So, um, if you're uh, can, you, can you just roll, can you just like roll it again? It says 14 right there. What happened? Oh, yeah, oh. that's right. Oh. So it's, it says 14, but it's really, it meant to be just 14 plus. Yeah, so you hit it. Roll, roll, roll damage. Yeah, I definitely don't have a plus 43 to hit. I, I don't have to Discord up. I just see the little pop up. Uh, oh, so. okay. Yeah, I got seven. Okay. Seven. Yeah, you hit it with some. Use uh, Moash right next to you. You see a beam of blue light hit the. Um, at the gate tonight. A little too close close for comfort, I'll say. Well, I'm trying to keep it cool. Demaya. Things are just blasting past um, Moab. <laughs> I think I'm probably he just still like, just has his like beer to the gate. <laughs> I'm like happily watching this chaos and I'm just kind of hanging out. Dazzle's making her way over here to the carriage. Yeah. Um, I just made it to the carriage. Okay. Then probably I would, like, sit up and, like, prepare to, like, sit next to her <laughs> and be like, let's let's break this bitch down. <laughs> okay, so you just, like, talk, tell her that, and then... Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do. There's no point. <laughs> I'm literally okay. just watching the show. Moash. Oh. Um. Well, not a whole lot I can do. So I'm going to move slightly away from the gate so I don't get hit. And that's it. Give me just a second. My cat just attacked. I need to get him out of here. <laughs> okay, you could burn against the gate. I'm not about to waste a spell, a second level spell slot on it. Are you going to wait until we can summon? I'm sure. Okay, what do you do? Uh, 
Uh, wait, so, is, okay, quick question. Do I know Patrick's at the gate at all? Um, no, you didn't see him. All right, yeah, I'm just going to move something up in front of the gate. And, Where are you going to move to? Um, over to the left. Okay, that's the side that Patrick went to. Oh, is it? Yes, that's the side Paul went to. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to move far enough. I'm, I'm on the right side. You said left side earlier. I definitely said right. Mm, I remember you saying left. Laz. Come here. I also remember one of Patrick. Yeah, so he's on the left side. So do you go to the left side? You don't know. You went to the left side, right? Hello? Yes. I don't know he's there, but I just said left. So you just go over there and then just chill for a second? Yep. Okay, Dazzle, you're up. Alright, so at this point I'm getting into the carriage. I guess the, the my I did get in the carriage, I don't know. Did she? Uh, you can now. Oh, no, no, but did Demaya perish? Uh, Demaya never left. I don't think yeah, I left literally left. never bothered to leave the carriage. I've been watching you guys this whole time. Oh, okay, so I, I, give, I assume my post again, and I, she said that she's going to sit with me. So we're both at the front is what I'm picturing. Yeah. Hell yeah, let's so, ride into the sunset. And so, so I'm going to move these. I'm not going to, like, ram the gate because I don't want the mules to get hurt, but I'm going to like slowly start to creep up closer to the gate. Um, for the sake of ease, and I don't want to figure it out, we'll say the mules are just going to move 30 feet. That's fine. Because it's a carriage and, you know, I don't know. Well, yeah, I just mean like slow walk, like up to, while Just while regular, regular speed. Yeah. Like okay. while they're, well, a little slower than regular, but like while they're getting their stuff figured out. I'm trying to like sit back, kind of. Okay. While yes. I'm moving forward. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sounds good. You do that. Uh, <laughs> next is the goblins' turns. Um, and uh, uh, you uh, halt. You hear um, someone starting to climb. Um, it sounds like they're uh, or not not starting to climb, but it sounds like they uh, like you hear some footsteps on the stone of the of the tower and then you hear um, some clicking and then um, moash creaking coming from the gate Sweet. Um, oh. well i'm going to hop in like the window it's not a window but yeah you hop on into the tower what do i see uh, you can barely see the figure of a goblin right where that mechanism is. Um, and he goes, ah, who's there? I'm like, damn, well, look at me, man. Um, keep the gate shut, keep it shut. Who, who are you? Who are you? Uh, I've never seen you before. I'm a new guy. I just came last week. What do you mean? A, what do you mean a new guy? Uh, roll a deception check, I guess. Uh, yeah, roll the deception check. Um, Patrick. Uh, seven. Uh, yeah, he goes, yeah, fuck off. What do you mean, new guy? New guy. Um, he stops what he's do doing, uh, though. One second. Um. um. And, uh, no, that's your turn, Patrick. You rolled deception as your action. You could also move. You could move a little bit, yeah. I'm just going to move right in front of him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mary Jane. Um, I'm going to cast it at the gate again. <laughs> Actually, well, I wonder if it would be more effective. I 
Yeah, like, how tough is this gate? <laughs> it's a gate. I mean, like... Like, it... Think, of it, think of it being, like, two large, like, wooden doors. And when I say large, I mean, like, 12 feet high. And then a, it's, like, banded iron is around the edges of it. And it's inlaid in this stone, like, wall. And uh, it's got, like iron that runs like through it to reinforce the so it's like a huge ass gate thing it's not likely that i can break through it it's not like a door it's like huge no it's okay. not like an easy it would not be an easy like because if you think of this as a castle in a ways it is a castle do you think they would have a gate that would just like easy to like blast down no. Don't, don't worry, Lexi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and burn it down next turn. Ah, oh, so oh, Um. Oh, could I? What is this for you? Oh, I can see your shadow. Not anymore. <laughs> Get back okay. away from the gate. Um, I can see if anyone wants to follow. I'm gonna probably back up a little. No one's back up or something. Yeah, I need, oh yeah. <laughs> Dazzle, please drop the fog. Can she hear me? You would, have, you would have to yell uh, it because she's like. Am I close, close enough? It, well, how far did you move, move back? Uh, I'll move back 30 feet. Then you're like 60 feet away. Okay, so she can probably hear me if I yell. Yeah. yeah. They still listen for a cookie. Alright, so then I just do it. Uh, you can do it on your turn. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> uh, Barisic? I'm gonna move up the remaining 30 feet. Do I, like, kind of bump it into, uh, Moash and the Fog? No, because Moash moved to the tower. Oh, on the okay. left side. In my head, I was picturing him, like, backing back off. He said he'd move toward the tower. I just don't have to Lateral. Well, uh, okay, so what do you do? I'm gonna move up 30 feet because I would have been in the fog. Can I see it though? It's on the in there with it. Did I make that a shape? Uh, how did you move all the way to the tower, Gabe? No, I just moved so I was like not right in front of the door. So I'm like just next to the door. Well, the gate. Yeah. Well, right next to the gate is the tower. Okay. So. I make an outline in the fog with You can see his outline. How about that? Cool. Then I'm going to cast Burning Hands on Wooden Gate. Okay. I'm going to um, guess the gate yeah. exceed on a deck save. No, so just roll damage. Okay. I'm going to. Oh my god, it's an S. Uh, you're the worst. Um, uh, nine fire damage. Okay. Um, with that, you see that the gate is um, on fire just a bit. Like, it's, it's, um, it's, uh, it caught fire. Nice. One of those goals was to try and burn down the gate. So yeah. Do. Uh, Demaya, you're up. Um, I'm just gonna tell Dazzle to yippee ki motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm just along for the ride at this point. <laughs> okay. Um, no ash. So you said I heard the gate creaking, right? Yes. So I... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a... When you got closer to the gate, you saw that it was starting to open up. The so, like, after I heard the creak, I definitely want to go back to the gate, especially since I just saw a bunch of flames. Yeah, there. you see that it's starting to catch on fire, and uh, the, it was like a crack uh, oh. where it's starting to open. Oh, okay, so saw the gate was starting to open when I cast burning hands. Does that mean, like, yeah. I did damage? 
did something behind it have to make a deck save to avoid fire from No, because it's just like a sliver. It just started to I see. Okay. Uh, did I definitely want to move up towards the gate? And when I see that, I I, I just wanna let's see, start starting to open someone a tiny bit. Um Then I want to be ready for if I like see the gate starting to close. I just want to be ready to use the immovable rod to try to like keep it jarred open. Some ah okay. So like, are you are you gonna ready an action? Yeah. Okay. So, so like, you just got items and I was gone. Yeah, you had the opportunity, but you chose not to. Oh, what? Since when? Um, I told you there was a ma magic shop in your magic school. Oh, oh yeah. And you said, oh, I don't want to go there yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> Chris, I'll go there later. It's okay. No, it's too late now. <laughs> the, the magic shop was a one-day exclusive day. Yeah, it was like the Scholastic Book <laughs> Fair. Okay, well, I don't know if this is I'm kidding. Dazzle, you're up. Are you going to dissipate your fog? Yes, I'm going to dissipate the fog and continue under 30 feet. Uh, okay, do you just want to move 30 feet? Because I would say you could move further if you wanted to. I can move what? Get you further can if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, so I would like to move further. Yeah, so you could move, like, you're going to be um, within 10 feet of this gate if you move all the way okay. well, 60 feet. First, I'd like to dissipate the fog before I, like, move that okay. far. I don't want to be right up on the gate yet. So you dissipate the fog, and you can see uh, Verzik directly in front of the gate. Um, the gate is uh, on fire, just a little bit on, like, the, just the outside portions of it. Kind of like it just started to catch on fire a little bit. Um, you see Moar sitting next to Dick. Um, you see in the left tower, you see two goblins facing each other, and on the right tower, you see one goblin, uh, operating that mechanism. I love that. Alright, well, then I guess I'll be within 10 feet of the gate. Okay. Oh, and, um, Mary Jane is now behind you, because you just passed her up. Oh, okay, well, okay. Um, next is, are the goblins. So the goblin that is in front of you, Halt, is going to try to just straight up attack you because not know who you are. And you're trying to pose as an imposter, so. Um, he's going to plot a scimitar and try to hit his 14 hit. Nope. Alright. Um, what the fuck, man? Uh... Then he is to Dude, I don't know who the fuck you are, and you're just you're you're lying to me, and I don't like it. I don't know. I'm not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So then the other goblin's going to go, and uh, you can see uh, you hear more creaking, and you can see like the the um, right side of the gate. So the right hand side is opening up while the left hand side stays where it's at. Well, Ash, but it probably opens up about a f And the mechanism is just like a, like a wheel that you just like turn, you know? Okay. And hold your up. Oh, and, and then. This guy's saying, like, um, Dazzle, this is for you, or hey, this is for you. He's saying, yeah, we, we should, we should fight them on her. Fight them on her. Because you did persuade him. <laughs> Hulk. All right, well, let's take my, my hat off and be like, okay, fuck you. And then I'm going to... Uh, see, I knew it. I'm just doing an attack on my sword. I'm not going to have my shield out. So I'm going to two-hand hit him with my long sword. You're going to attempt to two-hand hit him. Sorry. Oh my god. 
14 to hit. That does not hit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's <laughs> oh, yeah. Alrighty then. Um, Mary Jane, you're up. You kind of saw Dazzle and Demaya pass you on the carriage. So, can I... I can't see any of them, right? You can see everything now. But am I, like, close enough to where I can see them? I know they're... Aren't they, like, in a tower? Yeah, I mean, like... If you really think about it, the feet isn't that far. Like, even a hundred feet isn't that far. You can still see a hundred Okay. That's true. But you're not, okay. but you're not even a hundred feet away, so... Okay. Um, well then, who's the one, who's, are there two close to Halt? There's one. You saw two okay. goblins, but that's because Halt had put the Hat of Disguise on. Do I know it then, though? Yeah. Yes, because he's now taking it back off. Okay, cool. Then I'm going to, um, cast Guiding Bolt at the Goblin Extra. Okay, is that the same spell you've been using? Yeah. And it's uh, 120 feet, so you're well within range. You're 65 feet away now. Did you want it closer? Um, yeah, I'm going to be closer. Okay, and then roll um, to hit with that spell. 23. Yep, that hits. And 15. Yeah, yeah you strike him with this bolt, and he immediately goes down. Like, you obliterate. Boom. Uh, yeah, there's a camera. Do I heal? I what? Kill. I said, not only do I heal, well, I kill. I heal and I kill. So she just have the one in front of my hall. Yes. Cool. So she just killed the one trying to open the gate. So Correct. That was your I mean, if I see the gate starting to open, I'm probably going to stop my attempts to, like, break the gate open. So I think I'm going to also, I'm just going to kind of be with the last where I'm just kind of ready to act. But if the gate opens, I'm going through it, basically. If, if I can just ready in action to be prepared for the gate opens. The gate is now, like, open and by, like, a foot. So, okay, so can I slip through it? Um, no, because you're big, um, right? Is it, are you huge? I'm six. Yeah, you're, I don't think that that'd be big enough for you no, to fit through, do you think? No, I don't think that'd be okay. Like, Moash could probably fit through. Yeah, you could, you could for sure stick an arm through. Do you want to stick an arm through? Not a chance at all. Stick my arm through. I'm just going to, I guess I'll just like, pass, pass my turn there. Now prepared out. Okay. I, I, I want my action. I want to prepare. What if the gate opens wide enough for me? I'm going through. Okay. Demaya. You're on the carriage. You're yeah. ten feet away from the gate. Um. Yeah. I mean, I'm just having a good time. Like Demaya, straight up, just along for this ride. Are oh, there goblins? She can see the goblins now. She can see one goblin on there. Right tower. Oh, I can see him. The mechanism that opens the door gate. He's operating it. Yes, but at least for the right side. So he's the reason it won't open. No, he's the reason that it's starting to open. Oh well, then I'm not going to shoot him. I guess. Um. Yeah. Then yeah, <laughs> I want to do like I think Demaya would straight up just sit here and enjoy her time, but like I want to do like the, like the princess wave, like <laughs> I like wave to the sweet goblin that's opening the gate. <laughs> he's he's back is two years, so he can't see. But... Damn, that's sad. I'll do it anyway for shits and giggles. <laughs> no ash. Okay, so I'm gonna slip through the gate, hundred percent. Okay. And uh, once I'm on the other side of the gate, okay, just to make, make sure. So, Lexi just killed the goblin fighting Hull, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So the only goblin left is the one operating the mechanism on the right tower. Right. But if you go in the gate, you don't see. 
Right, but what I noticed that as I went into the gate, uh, yeah, you saw that bend, probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, so knowing that, I want to move around towards that tower to see if I can, like, make my way up it. To the right side or the left side? Right side? The right, the right side, yeah. Okay, so as you kind of slip in here, you see that it's a yard that's even more dilapidated than the outside. Um, uh, okay, yeah, so you go directly to the right side tower and start to climb up? Yep. Um, okay, well, so you, there's like a ladder that you can climb up that's like built into the side of the tower. Gotcha. Um, so you start your ascent up the tower. Um, okay. Um, dazzle, dazzle. So I can only see the one go one, two, also as well. Yeah, and you can like sort of see inside the, the gate now because it's about a little bit open. But yeah, I mean, he's the only goblin, goblin um, on that that you have seen so far that is still alive. Yeah. You've killed a hobgoblin, you've killed a goblin, and this is the other goblin. Um, okay, I guess there's not really a whole lot I can do, so I will continue to sit here until the gate opens more so I can pass through. Okay. Um, uh, this goblin is now now that he seen you or witnessed uh, his friend get shot with a guiding bolt and hit, die it in one hit uh, he's going to pull out his bow again he's going to stop opening the door and he's going to try to hit Lexi bow oh that's a nat 20 oof So that's going to be 11 damage. Yeah. All better uses the uh, healing spot, or the healing potion on me. <laughs> and is going to say, Here, I, I came out. I'm fighting you now. So you kind of grab on to the the little mechanism and you start turning it and now you guys see the left side open to about the same as the right side. So there's like two feet in in total um, gap gapage whatever um, in this gate um, and uh, cleavage is the proper term, Chris. <laughs> the cleavage of the gate. Um, <laughs> You guys can see into it for the most part now, and you guys can see like the dated buildings and whatnot inside. Um, Mary Jane. You are 35 feet away. You could have to move all the way up to the gate, and from there you can either dash inside or. Sorry. Yeah, Mary Jane. Oh, sorry, I was with the dogs. Can you repeat? You're 35 feet away. Oh. Um, it's my turn? Yes. Oh. So can I cast any of my spells on myself? Um, if, if, if you're talking about healing spells, then yeah. Okay. But he's still alive, right? And he's only 35 feet away? Right. Okay, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt again. You're burning through these spell slots. Well, no, that's the first... First level spells cost first level oh, spell yeah. slots. yeah, I forgot. Okay. Yeah. That's... Actually, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame. So you need to mark three first yeah, level I spells. I got it. I wasn't thinking. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Sacred Flame. So that's flame. a dexterity saving throw? Yeah. He okay. got a 21. Does that save? <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. That's <laughs> yeah. cool. You always have to ask, like, Okay, um, do you move closer, though? Uh, no. Or, no. Okay. Then there's, like, your breath. I think you could, assume, yeah, you could for sure probably slip through now. Well, if I could fit through, then that's probably what I'm wanting to do. I'm wanting to slip through kind of behind them. Do I see, like, a, so I entered the courtyard as well, with see all those dilapidated buildings, right? Yeah. No, I do it. And I'd probably go for the top tower with the remaining goblin on it. The, the, that would you would be following the one. Yes. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Can, I, 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 we, we could, I could probably get up there in one turn, right? You said it was only like 12 feet tall. Uh, yeah. I'm getting inside and getting to the tower. Like it, I just that would be your movement unless you wanted to dash. I could get. Do, oh. Uh. What? <sighs> I guess, I guess I'll just prepare in case he tries to, I'll like, I'll stand at the base of the ladder and get the goblin just like throws himself off or something. Um, okay. Um. Yeah, because I, I, if I can't make it up there, I can, there's no way I can shoot a, a spell on the goblin. <clears throat> no. Go yeah. give me a second. Yeah, everything I have is cone or side eight, and the one thing I do have, which is the uh, thunderclap, would hit all of my teammates. Right. I'm just gonna wait there, pretty much. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Terrible fate. Either he gets, uh, he dies up there, or he jumps down and meets no ash line. The title of my children's book, uh, Derzik Moeshmai. Fuck, guys, I messed up and I lost my um, initiative order. One. I know that it was Moash and then Dazzle and Goblin and then Halt. I think and I was Mary, last. Mary Jane. Yeah, I think Bear I was sick. Last. Then Demaya. Okay. So then Demaya, it's your turn. Um, okay, so now we're stopped and homie stopped opening the gate. Fuck. Right. And I'm ten feet from the gate. You should probably shoot the goblin still in the bubble. Yeah, you are ten feet from the gate. Yeah, oh, well I don't want to shoot him if he might open it. Well, he probably won't open it now that we've Offended him. Mm. He's also taken out his bow. Oh. All right, yeah. Attacking. Yeah, let's fuck him up. I'll finally. I guess I'll finally help you guys. I don't really feel like it, but you know, I could potentially. Um. All right. Fuck it. D twenty plus. I really considered not doing it and just <laughs> running through the gate. Does that hit? Uh. Would you roll? A fifteen. Yeah, that hits. Okay. Uh, eight plus three. Uh, eleven points of damage. Uh, um, yeah, you shoot him straight through the skull. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> one hit one kill. One hit KO. Sick. Um, and he falls off the tower onto the ground in front, uh, in front of you. GG, too easy, guys. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so... That was the last goblin. You guys are out of combat. Can I, like, jump off the carriage and start trying to push the door open? Just, like, because half it's already, like, a foot open, right? It's two feet open, but, I mean, you have Moash and uh, Verzik who are about to climb up the tower, and then you have Halt who's being on the left side. So oh, if you okay. guys continue up the tower, I can say you guys warp the gate open. Yes. Yeah. Perfect, yep. We open the gate. Um, yeah. So I think we should end it here. I know it's a little bit hard to make sense to end it here. Yeah. That works. Um, I just want to point out that Demaya swooped in to save the day. You're all welcome. <laughs> While doing absolutely nothing for the entire fight. <laughs>
Yeah. I always think you guys are going to get through more than you do. Well, Chris, <laughs> to be fair, I also would respect us to be able to handle two goblins and a hobgoblin. I, <laughs> I do think this one was my fault. I kind of enjoyed the fog cloud personally. <laughs> No, I don't think that was an issue. The, 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 issue, the issue was to me, I think, on this one, because I did not anticipate you guys um, fighting before they got the gate open. No, exactly, because y'all are so I was just walking. No, I mean, like, if you guys think about your actions, though. I was like, walking with my hands in the air. No, you weren't. I you were. never said that. And and you have to think, okay, you've got a thug who's, like, basically shaking you down. And uh, you have Moab who's, like, not listening. <laughs> and then you have who steps out of the carriage and it's like you see a like a fully armored person come out you, like no, like normal people don't wear armor so like you're clearly a fighter if you're wearing armor you know what I mean like if you think about it you told us to get like, out they don't like to talk about anything they just want to fight yeah <laughs> I just think it's funny that Chris said he didn't expect this, but boy, was he ready. <laughs> but the thing is, I wasn't ready. Because I was like, what the fuck? Try to attack the door. I was like, what are, what are the fucking goblins going to do? I'd like to, hey, I helped you with the fog cloud. You didn't have to come up with really anything for like <laughs> Well, no, because, okay, so here's the thing. I was going to have to go down, which they started to go down into, like, they got off the tower, and they were on the other side, and I was just going to let you just do whatever you needed to do to get, like, over the wall or over the tower or whatever. But then you kept trying to get them to fight, and you rolled a nat 20 vision, so I was like, well, fuck, now they're going to come back up the tower? <laughs> it was weird. Who is it Clark loot with the bodies, like, after you get the gate open and everything? Mm, yeah. Guess. Roll investigation. Mm. See, okay. Here's the thing I have about that. Thinking about investigation checks on looted bodies. Like, are you just straight up not going to see it? Like, I feel like I should just tell you what you. Yeah, that's. that's if well, it's not. If it's not see, we both be hit up as well. Yeah, I mean, unless they're, like, specifically trying to hide something, I don't really think I, you need to do a investigation check about that. Alright, well, what about the fun? Um, who are you searching? All three of them. You're going to search all three and nobody else is going to search anyone? I'll search one of them. Which one? Um, Patrick, I assume you're going to search the goblin that you killed right there. Adri killed. Okay, so you're going to climb up the tower. There's still the hobgoblin. I assume, the, yeah, the hobgoblin's still on the ground, so I guess Dazzler Eye is closest, right? Yeah. I guess I can hop off and check it. find anything on this goblin. Mary Jane, you don't find anything on the goblin, other than, like, they both have short bows, a scimitar, and a shield each. Um, but, uh, Demaya, you're, you're searching the hobgoblin? Yeah, if that's the one on the ground, yeah. Yes. Um, the hobgoblin has 50 gold pieces. Wow. <laughs> you can make the assumption that they have successfully shook down a, a couple of... Of drivers. previous saps. Yeah. A lot of the previous people have a shake, 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 shake. All right, Piper. <laughs> shook it. They have been shook it. All right, I'm uh, a <laughs> in a in a true chaotic bitch fashion. I'm just gonna pocket it. <laughs> um, okay, then dazzle roll perception to see 
So Demaya will set of hand and the as will perception. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Sleight of hand. I think I actually am proficient. No, no, I'm not. Damn it, I'm proficient in stealth. <laughs> One d twenty. Whoa. You just have to beat a ten. Three. Oh, watch me work. <laughs> yeah, so no, nobody sees you pocket this 50 gold. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'm going to continue to try to find out how to make that not quite so long and drag out for so long while also trying to make it a little more fun. I'm going to think about it. Hey, Chris, Gabe and I won't be able to play next week. So yes. Yeah, I, so. I can play, we can play like Thursday or Friday, probably, but we can't play Wednesday. Uh, um, yeah, I remember you telling me that. I will be flying back from Texas Wednesday. Oh, you're going to be in Texas. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Hall. Bye. Bye, Patrick. You're not going to stay in, in less. Okay. <laughs> Do we want to play um, Thursday?